ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Owlid Tournament. I am your host and play, play, play caster Rainbow, and we have the Miners All-Stars game for you tonight. Um, it is going to be between our teams, the Sharpest Tools and Smash Math. We'll get a bit into them uh, in a second. Joining me in the casting booth tonight is Bowsy. How are you doing tonight, Bowsy? I'm doing well, Rainbow. Happy All-Star season. We're done with the regular season. It's time to chill off. Make sure we can burn some relationships, if we can, before we get into the rough time of playoffs. This is really just a time to have fun, you know? It, we're here to have fun. Also try to have those sort of, like, cross-rivalries. Get some gloating in when in the process. You know, all that sort of such. Yep. Um, I also realized I forgot to do something. Uh, so uh, I need to get that sorted out. Um, so while I am taking care of that, can you introduce these two teams for us, Bazzi? Absolutely. So, um, one of the teams that we'll be showing here today is the Sharpest Tools, which has tanks War and Peace and Miko, DPS Glide Guide and Oakley, and supports Plasma and Arish Kagal. On the side of All Stars by Smash Mouth, we have Tank Emmy, tanks we have tanks Emmy and Hilton, DPS Deja Vu and the King, and supports Aqua and Peridot. So obviously there's a lot of sort of like talents that we've been seeing throughout the throughout the entire season on these rosters. Of course, Sharpest Tools does have those two Widowmaker specialists, Glide Guide and Oakley. Smash Mouth has the exact opposite with two Faro players in Deja Vu and the King. Uh, you have very recognizable play uh, pieces on the tanks. War and Peace, Hailton, Emmy, all of these we've been seeing pop out throughout the entire season. And then I would say... Very stacked support lines here. Plasma, Aqua, Arish, and Peridot obviously have been really strong supports this entire season. So it's going to be an interesting All-Stars game here. Yes, I am really excited. I'm having trouble in fighting one of our substitute players for tonight. Um, <laughs> okay, we should be able to get into first map because we aren't going to be needing our subs in this first map. So uh, we should be all good to go if we need to get into it here. Yep, yeah, absolutely. And we are getting into the map here. We did have a voting contest to choose what maps we would be using here for the All-Stars games. And the first of those, which is the control map, is Lijong Tower. Yeah, we are doing some mystery heroes here, and I'm really Ooh. excited. Uh, this is a fun game mode, especially in control, because everything is just constantly all over the place. Uh, so what are your thoughts on these... Uh, quote-unquote standing lineups here <laughs> starting lineup <laughs> um well obviously we have let's see we have very interesting stuff coming out from both sides i do find it strange how uh like three of the six players on the side of sharpest tools happen to be playing their mains um Ooh, that is uh definitely a lucky start here yeah absolutely i mean the same could also be said for the side of all stars by smash mouth but we'll have to see what the outcome is as it looks like Sharpest Tools will be getting to the point first. Yep, Sharpest Tools doing a good job controlling that space there and getting the first kill onto Emmy Hilton, also going down to Arrestigal on the Ash. Plasma taking out Aqua, and it's looking really strong. Glide Guide and Aqua doing a lot of the work there, uh, but you know, Miko also doing some nice contributions on that Roadhog. Yeah, absolutely. Unfortunately, the flam there for Smash Mouth ended up blowing up in their face with all that dynamite. I'll go leave. But now they have gotten a lot of swaps coming in. Uh, they are now a 5 DPS, uh, 1 support comp. So, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like in my ranked games before 222 was initiated. But regardless, we're going to see how if they're going to be able to push into this almost like 2-2-2 uh, like composition on the other side. Yeah, we are moving in here through white, seeing what they can get done, see if they can get any uh, initial picks to start off with. But so far, they're just kind of buying their time and, and looking for those picks. Warren going to get a pick on the Hilton, though, and Emmy also going to be going down to Glide Guy. Uh, it's looking like a really strong from Sharpest Tools, and, you know, it, at some point in Mystery Heroes, you do just need to die so you can get on a hero that you're more comfortable with and that you'll be able to do more work with. King does get the kill into Erish, though, and Erish was doing a really good job on the Ash. So that could uh, be really helpful for the next push. Unless Arish gets at the board, in which case the enemy team is running 2-2-2. Two, two, two. No, Arish has got Ash again. That is some amazing luck there. I don't know how that <laughs> happened. Uh, we're going to be taking out Hilton. Doing a really good job on you, Lucio. Uh, Deep used to play oh, Lucio move. quite a bit. So uh, not surprising. Yeah, and Warren getting the move on the Aqua is really nice. They're throwing down the beat. He is not afraid to use it because if you die, you lose your ult anyway. 
And yeah, we're just gonna be seeing some more kills coming out of here from Sharpest Tools because uh, they are able to build these ults because they aren't dying and it's looking really good. Although King is nearly at that EMP, Eris is gonna be taking out Emmy on the Ryan part. Uh, not great. Hilton also gonna be going down on the soldier late in the fight there. Uh, very yeah. few seconds. Yeah, King has not died this entire time. I believe the only time he died was when uh, he switched back onto the Sombra, or at least got back on the Sombra. But now it's looking very rough here for Smash Mouth. Um, really, if you are uh, Sharpest Tools, you have a strong Ooh. point here, unless the EMP is huge. You have the EMP, but not very many people to follow it up, especially with Plasma putting that pressure on to Smash Mouth there. Uh, Hilton was able to take out Plasma, though, which is really good, uh, but Plasma got getting a nice kill there as well. Erish gonna be taking out Hilton. is gonna be coming back and taking out Erish, though, but Miku throwing down the whole hog we pressing people off of the point uh, with that hand. That is going to be point A going to Sharp Pistol. Looking really good here. Moving into the second point, they will have all of their heroes reset. Um, or they, they should, should things work correctly. Um, and so we could be seeing a total reversal here. Yeah, absolutely. I find, I, you might have heard me laugh there for a second. It's because Oakley got Widowmaker after he died. <laughs> Which is actually kind of funny because we all know Oakley is a really good Widowmaker. But regardless, we are going to be seeing some swaps. And okay, yep, sharpest tools. I'm pretty sure you've already won this round. So uh, I don't, I don't like to be that negative, but still, like, really. I mean, yes. come on. <laughs> so we, we will, we'll see how this works out. There, things can always, you know, go unlucky for one side or lucky for the other. Um, and if you can get a, uh, you know, good pick off early on, it can make all the difference here, as both yeah. teams are slowly heading towards point. I'll give that Lucio, Lucio who's there first, looking yeah. for that boop to start off Lucio, with. Lucio, 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 he gets, he gets the warrant on the back. And like I said, if you get those things, also Aqua getting killed to Oakley, the double Lucio action is exactly what I love to see. That was ah, beautiful. Yeah. Plasma just gonna be jumping off the cliff there. That does uh, let him, or, yeah, let him keep the Torbjorn. Um, so it could be a smart play to uh, if he you know knows he's good on the Torb. Yeah, Emmy and Aqua trying to uh, battle out to see who's the most ready Reddit Lucio in the entire group. So it's going to be interesting to see how this double Lucio comp will be uh, going I mean, for. Aqua is a Lucio main, so I would I hope know. it's her. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to see. Maybe Emmy will take that starting Lucio spot away from Aqua. You never know. Yeah, you know, may maybe this shakes things up on MSBY. Emmy's like, actually, no, I'm the Lucio main now. This is how it happens. <laughs> Someone, uh, someone else is playing flex tank. Oh, but a big kill. Yeah, Glide has been getting that first pick on Emmy Sharp, so he's trying to come in here. He's just going to be going down. These kills are going back and forth. King giving him a uh, 2k there uh, onto Erich and Plasma. And yeah, so it's looking very much like Smash Mouth is going to be keeping the point here. As, uh, you know, Sharpest returns back to the spawn room. Oh god, look at the composition that all stars by Smash Mouth has now. Two Lucios, two Sombras, one of them thankfully died. Uh, so that would have been absolute torture. But, oh, that's not good. Oko died with the Dragon Strike trying to come out. However, if you look on the side of Sharpest Tools, they do have Hog Diva, which... It meta? Sort of? Uh, also, uh, we now have Peridot on the Lucio, uh, who is also is one of the people who plays Lucio. Um, so, you know, good uh, I mean. on roll over there. Yeah, well, I guess going to be getting the rest on the Plasma after Emmy kind of gets to that kill there. Emmy is going to be going down. Uh, Emmy was doing pretty well on the Hansa, so that's a, a shame for uh, uh, Sharpest Tools there. And yeah, we're going to be seeing Erish going down, or sorry, killing the king. I am apologizing. We see the Blizzard's going to get thrown out there. Doesn't look like it really got anyone though warranted to kill onto Deja. And it is it's keeping pretty even right now, but looks like uh, Sharpest Tools could come out with the win here, though, with Emmy getting a nice 2k, though, onto Plasma and Miko. Uh, they are recovering, but Oakley's going to be going down. It looks like the point was nearly getting capped. You have the Hammond coming in for the clutch play to uh, you know, keep the space. I'll also have Sombra on point there, and they are going to be uh, keeping this for themselves, it looks like, unless you see an amazing stall come out. You do have the uh, Bastion on point there, and Sigma coming in, so this is very possible here. Well, Hailton's about to have that EMP, so maybe the, uh, the All-Stars will be able to shut this out immediately with that EMP. The only person on the point is... Oh, yeah, the EMP is coming through. Does have too much people not able to get those kills there, though. Yeah, Warren coming in on a signature here. The Reinhardt. Miko's going to be jumping out the cliff, looking to stay on the Sigma there. Uh, probably got low health and uh, took the dive. And we see the mine scene thrown out as well, which is going to be great to control. So, Hailton also going to be taking a dive off the map there. And it's... 
you know, still keeping pretty even. Glide Dragon going down in the Zen. We see the BK drop by Paradox and the Shatter come through. Uh, but, you know, there's still three people to help keep this alive over here. Four sharpest tools. Uh, unfortunately, two of them are supports. Uh, we do have him who's going to be in here as well. So, Aerith is going to be going down. But hopefully, with the one kill coalescing, some platform boosting off while, um, and getting the kill there, uh, Deja is going to be resing uh, the fellow Mercy Emmy. Uh, keeping you know two two emergencies on point here. We see more mines gonna be going down this time from sharpest tools coming out of plasma And it's gonna be getting a kill there and also some other kills coming through from sharpest tools They're able to flip that point that was insanely long stall and they did a really great job and also got some You know lucky picks. It does come down to that a little bit. Yep uh, If you look on the side of sharpest tools, they do have two 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 now so it's gonna be interesting how it actually it's two 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 on never mind it's not two 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 on both sides I'm stupid. Uh, yeah, Lucio <laughs> okay. Lucio is a tank. Lucio is a tank. Don't worry about it. Uh, actually, no. You just copy. You just make the echo copy two support, or you make the echoes copy two tanks, and then there you go. You got ghosts. Easy easy win here for all stars. Yeah, we do see uh, Smash Mouth is gonna be pushing in here, getting that rhyme set up. The echoes to back it up. Yeah, it looks like one of the sectors nearly moved off the map. They can fly, so not actually going to be getting the kill there. And we see Orion trying to swing away, looking for a charge. He's going to be falling, and Hailshin also going to be going down. The King was able to take out Black Guy. Plasma's going to be slipping off the map there, and Eric's getting a nice 2k with the Reaper. And they're going to be uh, pretty solidly holding this point here. And we're yeah. going to be looking to smash on this next attack. Yeah, absolutely. Sharpest Tools just have the point presence. They have a lot of heals, a lot of damage, a lot of tank sustain. Really, this 2-2-2 composition is literally what you want to be in if you are uh, Sharpest Tools. But Smash Mouth just having a lot of trouble trying to push in. That being said, however, if you look, they were able to keep King and Aqua alive, who are about to come up on those two big alts, Duplicate and Trans. So there's a possibility they're taking a Sim TP. <laughs> Yeah, so see how that goes. We do see Paradote fall immediately to Glide Guide on the junk wrap, but Glide Guide's gonna be going down to Aqua. Aerith gets the kill onto Emmy, losing that Reinhardt there. It helps keep the space and the Coalescence is gonna get a kill onto Deja. Plasma taking a Hailshin. It's looking really good for Sharpest Tools right now as they fend off yet another attack from Smash Mouth. But if you look, the King is about, has that trans. Aqua's about to have that uh, duplicate. It's gonna be interesting to see here if uh, Smash Mouth can take this point back and bring us to a map three. Oh, Aqua dies before yeah. this. And Plasma's out. gonna get that boop onto Peridot. And so it's still looking like Sharpest Tool's doing really well, but Emmy is putting up a good fight. So is Hailshin trying to keep this alive with our team through pure DPS. Emmy popping off on this Reaper right now. Yeah, it looks like Emmy might be able to bring this back. Emmy, stop it. You're, Emmy's about to Dude, kill off the entirety of uh, I, I, I think just, you know, if you have six Emmys, that's all you need on MSBY right now. I mean, he's popped on support. He's popped on DPS. He's really popping on DPS. And we also know he's a great diva player. So why do you need anyone besides Emmy, really? I think it's the conclusion. Yeah, so that that's obviously the most interesting thing I've ever, I've ever seen. We've been seeing Emmy pop off on everything. Honestly, at this rate, Emmy is the MVP of the season. We've already we've we've already <laughs> said that. But regardless, we are going to a map three here on Li Zhang Tower for Mystery Heroes. It's going to be interesting to see here what these teams get and what, how they're going to make advantage of them. Uh, Hilton finally on a main tank though might mean good things. For the side of all for the side of uh smash mouth yeah i i'm definitely excited to see what's gonna end up happening here I, neither team really has what you'd consider meta compositions on this point now nah, um, rhyme ball rhyme so, ball meta, rhyme ball meta. You, you, i i think that is the so. more meta side mainly <laughs> just because they have two tanks which you know is good <laughs> they have they have a 222 comp actually if you look at it they have bat mercy sim tracer ball ryan so all yeah, stars yeah. again looking like a very strong composition heading into this point. It just matters if they, you know, don't die like Emmy did. Yeah, Plasma doing well in that doofus. Aqua also getting kill into Oakley though, kind of keeping things pretty even here. You just see trying to tracer poking around there, and Aerith's gonna be getting killed into Hellshin as Peridot also gets killed into Glide Guy. Now it's kind of swinging more towards uh, Sharpest Tools here, as they also are gonna be capturing the point. Yeah, Sharpest Tools is just able to enact there on a bad situation, and now. Three DPS, just one support. Erish on the Zenyatta, so now you have a support main on the support roll. 
really, it's looking good here for Sharpest Tools. However, Hailton is now on his signature Reinhardt. As long as he can get the support that he's gotten on uh, over there on Hyperion, this is an easy win. Ooh, we see Aqua going really low along with Hailton. Both those Reinhardts going really low, but Deja and Emmy are going to be the first to fall over there on Smash Mouth. Aqua and Hailton might actually make it out there live, and as I say, that Aqua gets full. So yeah. that's not going to happen. Yeah, Road, Roadhog hook up Ooh, and... if you think you're going to be safe. So really, it's just hard to be able to survive, especially when that Roadhog hook. That being said, uh, Emmy just did dive in there and dies. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it's looking rough here for uh, uh, Smash Mouth, but they are coming out with some good picks here. May, Ash, Cree, Torgorn, and Emmy's going to be going on to the Lucio. Uh, yeah. I was hoping that'd be something uh, better. But regardless, that's a five DPS, one support comp for the side of All Stars by Smash Mouth. So a possibility can arise. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's good to know that Arish on the Zenyatta, uh, she does play that quite a bit. Um, so it's no surprise that she's doing well there. And Emmy's going to get pulled and uh, taken out by the turrets there. Sharpest Tool is just really shredding Smash Mouth right now. And we do see the ult into the back line as well with the Doomfist trying to chase down the Torbjorn, able to take out Aqua. And there to continue to hold dominant. We'll see if, you know, maybe Smash Mouth can break through on this next attack. I feel like the biggest problem right now is Oakley's hog causing so much problem. Oakley has been dominating all of Smash Mouth on this hog. You just need to try and take that, and I think you're fine. A plus out from Nico that early, and there's Oakley's whole hog. Ooh, you had to follow it up, and that is uh, bad news for Smash Mouth. Uh, they really are going to maybe get a stall touch at best here, and I really don't think they can even uh, get that. So I think we may be seeing the first map here. Yep, it is definitively going to be going to the sharpest tools in the shed. Yes, and, absolutely. Yeah, so the, clearly the superior mystery heroes team, uh, obviously, as we all know, RNG has something to do with it. Yeah. Um, nah, you know, nah, it, nah, it's nah, pure nah. skill, if you would Pure interest. skill, pure you skill. know, pure skill. All those numbers and code, you had to type in uh, specific key combos in order to hit that exact code for those exact combos and those exact heroes. Easy be there <laughs> for sharpest tools. But regardless, map two obviously will say something different. We'll have to see what yeah. happens and if uh, All Stars by Smash Mouth can make a comeback. Yeah, I, I will say flexibility does play into it though. The more heroes yeah. you can play, the better you're going to perform in Mystery Heroes. If you only know how to play Widow and maybe Ash, you're not gonna do well. <laughs> Cause you gotta pull out that Junkrat, that Winston, you know, the more roles you played, the better. Yeah, absolutely. It's always good to have more roles and more uh, versatility in your roster. You know, that's how you're, that's what you're supposed to be doing in Mystery Heroes. Like those people who have been practicing like 15 different 15 different heroes and making sure they're good on at least all of them, um, they're going to be succeeding in Mystery Heroes. While those who want tricky hero are probably going to be struggling, unless they decide to pop off and your name is Rascal and you learn it in two seconds. Yep, um, we are going to be switching to a quick 1v1 here. Uh, it's going to be a Farmercy 1v1. Oh, fun. Farmercy, one, Farmercy 1v1s are going to be very interesting. You know, it's not like a Widow 1v1. It's not like super simple. It's just like click the enemy head. No, you got to hit rockets in a row. That's pretty hard when you think about it. So we'll also have to see what happens in terms of that. Yeah, um, so it is. It, it was uh, Deja and King were arguing about who is the better Fara in Outlet Miners, uh, and so you know they they decide that the best way to solve it one v one. So uh, they're going to be backed. Uh, Deja is not going to have uh, her mercy. Uh, she is going to be uh, stealing Heritot over there from Odyssey, um, but King is going to have his normal dedicated mercy with him uh, in Aqua. So yeah. this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like the synergy between King and Aqua might give them a little bit of advantage here over Peridot and Deja, but we'll have to see, you know? Um, it's very interesting, really, that we're doing this Faro 1v1. Obviously, the King we've known as a very dominant Faro throughout this entire season. I haven't seen a lot of Deja Vu, so I can't say how good she is on that Faro, but I'm going to assume, considering that they were arguing on which one was better, I'm going to assume uh, it's going to be a close match. Yeah, we're just making sure uh, both of our Far Mercy duos are ready. Uh, the team of Aqua and King seems to be ready and just waiting on Perido and Deja. Uh, I mean, I think I think both of them are pretty good. Obviously, King is more well-known in Miners for that Farah. Um, but I think Deja also does a pretty good job on the uh, little bit I've seen of her. 
Yeah, absolutely. King, obviously. He's known as pretty much like the far up one trick of Outlet. Not saying he's really a one trick. He's played other heroes before. Yeah. I mean, he's known he's known specifically for his far up because it's just so devastating. So we'll have to see if he is able to contend out here with Deja or if Deja might have the better end. Who knows? Maybe having Peridot as your support player might bring Deja a little bit of advantage. And maybe that's a sign Deja to, to Twitch teams. Cool. So both teams are now ready, and it is going to be here on Castillo. Uh, definitely one of the better uh, far 1v1 maps. You kind of have some cover. You have, you know, the edge to play around as well, along with the high ground. Uh, so I am definitely excited for us to get started here. Uh, we do have a little bit of a problem if you can look in the top left. Uh, oh, okay. Aqua's coming out here on the Afara. I see yeah, how it, it is. Seems like, it seems like we have a problem where the DPS players are playing oh, Mercy. Teams. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'm pretty we can sure that it. might we be can a... Dig it. Yeah, oh, that might the, be a... The Mercies are 1v1ing each other instead of helping their Faras, it seems, so... Uh, Deja's gonna be taking out King first there. And, uh, Aqua jumping off the cliff. Apparently, uh, they decided that one person dies. They both do. Nah, Aqua, I believe, ended up just killing, uh, herself there. So, yeah, kind of rough there. It does seem like King and Aqua are going to be staying on with this composition. Um, yeah. Very awkward. Yes, yeah, so this, this is gonna be first to three. And I, I guess it's, a Mercy 1v1 now. Uh, to some extent here. Uh, yeah, so right now they're just kind of tussling in the sky. Looking for those first shots, we do see the Mercies going for each other yet again. Um, and Aqua is going to be taking out Peridote right. there, but Deja gets the res on Peridote. Peridote now without the Mercy uh, to help her out there, but uh, is, you know, still putting up the fight here, looking to take out King and Aqua now, but Aqua is going to get the kill onto Peridote. I mean, who needs that good Fara player in King when you have Aqua ripping through Peridote here on the Fara, so... Who knows, maybe Aqua has been the uh, 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 Spar Specialist this entire time, and we've just been bamboozled. Yeah, you know, but it's it's just kind of how this is going to be going. Right now, we see one team, uh, it looks like they're hiding somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where they are. Oh, I, I see, see where, I see where they are. Yep, the they're, yeah. by, uh, they're by uh, Los Muertos. Yep, looking for that surprise attack. And they are going to be yeah, firing back. off at each other once again. And just Going so people know how hard it is to try and kill a farmer seed combo, you need to hit two direct shots in a row in order to kill a Faro who's being pocketed by a Mercy. Yeah, so or take out we, the Mercy, you know? Or, yeah, you could just take out the Mercy, but I feel like it'd be more stylish if you had killed the Faro. So, that's just my thoughts on it. Yeah, Oop, right now it is uh, oh, a lot of missing. Aqua. Oh, but Aqua gets that kill on the Peridote, though. And we see the res coming out. Deja spinning like a top of there to get that res off and is going to be going down to King because of it uh, with the swift punch. And so it is once again going to be Peridote versus the world here. Looking to get that double kill onto both King and Aqua and no longer has any healing uh, from Deja to, you know, aid her in that. Uh, you guys need to hit your shots though if you want to take out Peridote. There, there we, we go. go. Okay. Finally, King is going to take that. Yeah, definitely really good, strong performance here from King and Aqua on those rolls. So we'll have to see if it does any better here, if uh, there is a chance here for Peridot and Deja to come back. But we'll have to see. Yep. And as we are going to be, once again, right now, King just whipping out the uh, pistol there. Well, Deja's all alone in the center and Peridot's hanging out in the back trying to look for Aqua. It's pretty much, we're pretty much seeing like the Faras are trying to do a Widow 1v1 while the Mercies are doing their own thing. <laughs> it looks like that's exactly what we're doing right here. Yeah, you know, I, I think that the, the Faras are just saying hi, you know, they're just chilling watching their Mercies duel it out. At this rate, you might as well just put it in Torg going for him. Oh, but King much, gets Jager. Yeah. King, King those headshots there. And so we are going to be going back to the Faras. And it's now actually even just the Faras on the board right now. And Peridot is going to be down some health right now, whereas Aqua is at full. So this is leaning towards Aqua winning here, but, you know, there's still a chance for Peridot to come back. Yeah, Peridot has to hit two shots in a row, maybe, to kill Aqua. It is it's possible, but really hard. Aqua does take a little bit of damage. It'll be close here between Peridot and Aqua. 
Yep, they're right now they're playing the ground far game. Shooting at each other. The point has almost unlocked. I don't think that, you know, is going to become relevant just far. It's gonna be kinda of hard for them to get that cap. But they're just gonna be volleying oh, back and forth Aqua! and great kills out there and we aren't going to be done. Why is this team named Eyes? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Okay. But yeah, great job there from Aqua and the King. It shows that sometimes, you know, your far player doesn't have to be on Farah. He can be on Mercy and your kid still be winning the match. So great performance there. Really good like matchup. Very intense moments and it was just overall a fun time, you know? This is what All Stars is about. You're not here yeah. to win. You're here to have fun and gloat about winning. <laughs> Uh, we are going to be switching over to our next uh, map type soon. It is going to be the No Limit on Gibraltar. So we'll get to see what these teams pull out. I think um, it was Smash Mouse uh, strategy to do the double far mercy here. So Goats. I am looking forward to that. Goats. Goats. Goats is a different one. That is what we're doing on hybrid. Okay. Uh, this is actually supposed to be No Limit 222. Um, so okay, uh, that, they, that, they cannot play everything. Okay, that makes mo that makes more sense. Yeah, my apologies. I I I didn't read the rule book. I didn't know what any of these were. Uh, I should have probably checked because I'm literally in the channel that says everything I should be knowing for this. There's something wrong with me. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see here what we get out of uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar when these two teams pick their compositions and their uh, players. You know. Uh, I believe, I'm pretty sure it was, um, what was it? I'm pretty sure it was Sharpest Tools that ended up picking Oakley and Plasma because both of those are Widowmaker specialists. On the other side, um, Cherenkov ended up picking, uh, what is it? The King and Deja Vu because of their Fara performance. So, I mean, Widow v. Fara does it really matter because we just saw what, uh, what uh what's his name what king was able to do against a widowmaker that that he was being pressured by uh MSPY versus odyssey so we'll see you know anything can happen yeah so i i'm excited here uh we need to make sure we have everyone on the proper teams and have those team names sorted out uh once we have that we should be able to get in here um so i know we talked about what uh Smash Mouse is going to be doing. Did we, did we talk about uh, what we think Sharpest Tools is going to be trying to pull out here? Sharpest Tools, again, they do have the Oak, they do have Oakley and uh, Plasma, two of the really strong, um, two really strong hit scan specialists, Widow specialists, if have you. So most likely they will be whipping out some sort of Widowmaker compositions here. Maybe double Widowmaker. Maybe they're running something crazy. I don't know. Either way, it's going to be stupid, and we're going to have to cast it either way. Um, we might be seeing the same tanks. I mean, we both have, I mean, Erish Kigol and, um, who's the other, uh, who's the other support? Hold on. There's a problem here. <laughs> Something ain't adding up. Um, oh, I guess one of their supports had to leave. That's weird. Uh, which support had to leave? Um, I'm, look I'm looking, here. I'm looking through it. I'm just looking at the, uh. Who's the other uh, support? Oh, sorry. Plasma is not the support. It's Glide Guy that's a it's Glide Guy that's the widow special. It's not Plasma. Bronze casting here, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently I don't remember my own casts. Okay. I forgot Glide Guy <laughs> is a very good widow maker, and I forgot that Plasma is a support player. I apologize <laughs> for both of you. You're definitely <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be a caster. This is why I'm going to play for a team in playoffs. <laughs> but yeah, so um yeah so we should be getting here soon apparently uh the code got scuffed up and they were on mr heroes during the 1v1 when they were not supposed to be and i had fixed that and so i don't know what happened oh, but um we can give them a rematch uh we'll just kind of let it be uncast over the halftime break here yeah um, most likely be uncast or if we want to cast it we can cast it in our own time just have the stream off and then someone can record it or post it to uh, I mean, yeah, let, let's just put it over uh, the break, though. Yeah, might as well. But regardless, we are going to be hopefully starting in here, getting in here uh, eventually. So we'll see what the result is from both these teams as we get into Gibraltar. Arriving at yes, and load up to see exactly what these teams are going to be pulling out here. 
Yeah, we're just gonna be waiting here for the game to officially start. Uh, so we can get our ideas on what we're gonna be running here from both sides. It is going to be, I'm 99% sure that is, um, all stars. Nope, never mind. They changed it. Uh, sharpest, sharpest tools is gonna be on the defense, I believe, from the looks of it right now. Uh, I might be wrong about that. All right, and, uh, due, due to, um, some more scuffage in the lobby, uh, we do have the wrong team color, so sorry for any confusion to our viewers here. Yeah, um, it's it's about it's gonna get really scuffed up in here. Even some of the care, even some of the people are not in the right roles. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's a mess. But yeah, regardless, so uh, we should be able to get everything sorted here. Um, on the side of sharpest tools, we do see um, double Orissa. We don't see uh, Oakley on that widow like we thought he would be, but we see double Orissa from War and Peace and Miko. We see double mercy coming out. It, it from looks like double Arisa, double yep, mercy, double yep. Ashworth. Yeah. Double Hammond, double fire, double mercy. It's double mercy from both sides. So that is quad mercy action we are getting here. Um, we see Ward coming out on his uh, much more signature Arissa here. Um, going with Arissa in her current state is, uh, you know, maybe a bit questionable. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how it ends up going for them. As they have Faro's raining down onto their paper thin shields. Oakley, oh, yeah, he's getting the first two picks. He's gonna be taking out one of the farmers. There's still another one to deal with uh, that he will have to take out there as well. Uh, or Glad Guy can take care of it, you know, one turn. Yeah, you know, like, Glad Guy now has to step up to the plate. Uh, obviously, Glad Guy has to go against his teammate, the King, in order to do that, but still. It can be uh, a lot of pressure here, but now we actually do see Deja Vu switching off onto the Bastion. And I don't think uh, Sharpest Tools realized this. Oh, that's a big kill on Emmy. Yep, yep. Morgan gonna be taking out Emmy down there on the cart. Uh, keeping really good uh, point control, but King oh, is gonna be taking out Nico though. And Emmy is gonna be getting rest back up. These are taking out Plasma. And we also are going to be seeing the rest come out onto Warren, but right now it is looking pretty good for the, uh, that is the side of Smash Mouth there. Um, yep. Uh, Don't we are worry, going to be seeing the Bob worry. coming out from Oakley. Uh, Helen Team of the Pressure is going to be taking out the King, and that is a nice pick. And, you know, Charvis Soul is coming back here and getting the point pressure, or getting the point presence that they need. Uh, we do have Deja coming back with this Bastion, looking to shred those shields. Deja getting killed into Warren, but Deja is going to be getting taken out by Oakley, and Warren is going to get res back up. So uh, it's still looking pretty good for Charvis Tools here. Yeah, it seems like we have abandoned the original 2 2 2 structure that everyone was going for. Emmy has switched over to the Roadhog. Miko has switched over to the Sigma. Really, it's just absolute chaos, and the King kills Glide Guide. I missed that. Yeah, that is a barrage just on to Glide Guide. Really wants to take out a fellow DPS player there on MSVY. And we are going to be seeing uh, everyone else going to get a bit turned back on Glide Guide. It's going to be going, uh, going to get res back up by Plasma. And Miko hopefully got some kills there. We see the bongos are down for War and Peace. Uh, you know, which is able to help give them some extra damage there. Aqua's going to be right. going to be Bella Mercy and Peridot after uh, she got killed. Uh, but, you know, right now, uh, we still have Sharp Pistol is holding pretty strong. 1 minute 40 on the clock for Smash Mouth. Yeah, it's looking rough here for Smash Mouth and Sharpest, Sharpest Tools are doing good. Black Guy does die to Deja Vu, who's on the blue box right now, so... Very interesting positioning here from uh, All-Stars, but it's working? Yep, I mean, really all it comes down to, if it works, it works, and you just go with it. <laughs> if it ain't uh, broke, don't fix it, man. Yeah, they does get the kill on Tamiko there with some uh, interesting positioning and Warren. So the thing with the thing with Bastion, if you're going if you're gonna do an unsupported Bastion like Dage is right now, you just have to have weird positioning so no one ever expects you, and then all of a sudden you're you know murdering them from the sidelines. Yeah, man, and I know. It's it clearly like... worked right there, so let's go. Yeah, absolutely. Bastion is just like it, you stay in a weird position, you win the match. Why do you think Atlanta was running Sim Bastion? I mean, obviously. Deja Vu was the one who inspired that sort of idea. So now we do see big scale swaps coming over on the side of Sharpest, sharpest uh, Tools. And uh, yeah, they're using stuff, so maybe you should cast. Yep, we are going to be seeing Deja get that kill on Tawarum. You see the whole hog coming out here from Emmy. And Deja continuing to get those kills. Uh, seems like their Bastion strategy is working right now, although they don't have anyone currently on the payload. 
Uh, not really anyone super fit for payload in this composition, so you kind of have to stick one of the mercies on it, unfortunately. Well, um, I mean, you could have two Roadhogs trying to make a trying to make a sandwich out of one of the players, so that's one possibility you could have. But, like, you have the Bastion, obviously, in weird angles. King on the Farah. Really, yeah. one of your mercies could take over the positioning. Uh, Warren and Bob are going to be contesting here. Yeah, Migo gets Get down, gets raised back up, but King with that barrage straight onto Glide God's face. Glide God not having a great time. Uh, we are going to be seeing service tools kind of coming back here in this fight. Looks like they're looking pretty good. Aqua does get res back up by Parage out there, but service tools really taking all the space, not getting many of the kills though. Uh, Deja did use tank formation to get a call into Plasma, but did get immediately slept there by Ereshkigal, who is now over there on the Ana. We see the Kabi coming out from Oakley onto the Hog. Uh, does get a bit stunned there, so does Emmy. And keeping things pretty even there. Hopefully he's gonna be getting pulled and Glide Guy's really getting these kills here on the Ash. Yeah, Glide Guy doing so much work here on this Ash. Oakley also switching off to like one of those Roadhogs. So now there were three Roadhogs in play. My nightmares. Uh so it's obviously looking a little rough here for uh all stars by Smash Mouth, but regardless. They still have an opportunity to push, question mark. We'll have to see as they're coming in one minute and 30 seconds on the clock to get that cart into point B. Yeah, we do have Emmy kind of just getting pushed in here a bit. Deja in the back line supporting, but overall, uh, Emmy's pretty alone. Does get the kill into one piece though, but gets down by Oakley. And so both sides are gonna be down when Deja gets the kill into errors though. Putting them up, King taking out Glide got as well. King getting another kill onto Plasma. And we are going to see the Flux come out here from Nico, trying to keep things alive, but overall, it's just going to be Smash Mouth continuing to push through here and going to be moving on to point C. Yeah, uh, Smash Mouth will be pushing on to point C, and not really any swaps coming out. Warren has actually switched over to Sigma now that I say that. Oh, but the hook from Emmy brings him straight in. That's the big thing with Roadhog. He can make you over-aggress, even if you don't want to. Uh, so, yeah, uh, horse feeding, as I call it. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing those hooks fly, trying to get those picks. And I did like the the switch to go with the antis uh, from the uh, Anas oh, to help yeah, deal with the hogs. <laughs> yeah, uh, Aeris was also on the uh, Ana a second ago. They did uh, swap off. They want to keep that mercy there for Glide Guy to help get those headshots. Uh, Oakland and Glide Guy are gonna be getting some kills there. Emmy? King gets right back up though, and Emmy gets the kill into Glide Guy. King taking out Aeris, so it's it's keeping pretty even here. And Deja is gonna be sleeping kind of in, in the back there. Continuing, we have the whole hog just waiting in the back line. Emmy's gonna get taken down, punished for that. Oh. But, the, but the cart is going to be continuing to move here, and Aqua gets killed. Uh, they get their res onto King after being uh, killed by Oakley there. They're just kind of continuing to put that pressure, even if it's from far away. Uh, still able to maintain. Oakley is trying to put the pressure on him, and it uh, is gonna be taking out Deja. Uh, Ares gets the res back onto Warren Peace, and right now, Sherbet is looking pretty good. And we are going to be seeing Hailshin getting slept after uh, trying to whole hog into the enemy spawn room. Uh, was able to get a kill on Tamika with that, but uh, and actually does not really die for that. He's going to be getting really low though, and he's able to get additional kills while he's there, uh, and gets fully healed back up. Emmy getting kill onto Plasma, putting a lot of pressure onto Sharpest Tools here. They really need to pull something off here. King is going to be getting a barrage down onto Oakley, really only kind of looking for 1k here it seems. But they're continuing to get those kills on Smash Mouth right now. We see the Flux is going to be coming out for Miku. Miku gets killed, so nothing is really going to come of it. Can anyone else touch? We see Plasma coming out here on the Lucio. Uh, going to die instantly, though. And so we are going to see Smash Mouth cap with 32 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, great job there by Smash Mouth. You might have heard me talking about a lot of things in the middle of that match. I do like to react to things that happen in the match. Boops. Um, Oakley ended up duplicating the Farah. And then hitting a direct rocket to kill King on his Farah. So, um, I mean, if I was King in that scenario, all I'd be feeling was pain. So, uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry, King. I'm sorry that you had to deal with that. But regardless, Smash Mouth do finish with 32 seconds in the time bank. And now it is time for Sharpest Tools attack. I don't know what to expect anymore, to be honest. I don't. We'll have to see what the comms roll out with. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, so we've had some roll swaps on the side of uh, Smash Mouth. Emmy's playing DPS. The King is on Tank. The King is on Reinhardt. Emmy's on Torb. It is double Reinhardt, double Torb, double Ana. 
<laughs> oh no. It's it's an interesting comp to say the least. I think yeah. that's all I can say, honestly. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting. What else are we supposed to say? <laughs> Regardless, on the side of uh, on Sharpest Tools, they have a more traditional comp, I would say. I mean, say. yeah, they don't have any overlapping <laughs> heroes, which uh, <laughs> I call but, uh, a loser comp. Oh, no, they now have the double they, bastion. But, uh, okay, we're they good. They don't we're know. Good. They don't know. They don't know. The King and Hailton are coming into the back line to try and charge us through. Um, they, that was an amazing charge there. <laughs> I mean, Going Hilton, off the cliff. Working, Hilton. I mean, Hailton's working. King King just charged off the cliff, though. Uh, not I mean, not a Ryan main or a tank main at all. It's a, it's a far, you know. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just, it's, it's getting messy right now. The only person on card alive right now is Deja Vu. And that will be the end of her life. But really, kind of a start stra smart strategy there. Uh, even It was either Aqua or Peridot who anteed everyone that was on that card. And Hailton just went swinging like nuts. So, can we call it a failure if it did get killed and did get ultra sensitive? I mean, no. I, the, the only failure there was King on the Reinhardt. Yeah, um, true. Thanks, <laughs> We do see the immortality going down, trying to help protect Warren. Uh, he's going to get destroyed, and they have to continue to back up here, uh, getting forced off cart, and King, you know, getting some swing kills in there. We do see a nice gyro coming down, but King is going to be uh, is going to be dying, so not really able to get any value off of it. So, uh, of course, we saw King and Deja running double far uh, last time on the, on the sharp on the uh, All Stars attack. Now look at the side of sharp of uh, sharpest tools. They're running double far now. They are literally running uh, Smash Mouth's medicine into their throat, into their own throat. So this is interesting. And now we see Double Widowmaker coming out on the side of all of oh, Smash Mouth. Let's see how that uh, you know works out. We do see another shadow coming down this time from oh, Hilton, Hilton, and that one's gonna get a lot of value. You can tell he is a Ryan main because that is uh, looking a lot better than Kings. Although they did get around the same amount of people, you gotta get that value as well. Or uh, oh, no. he's gonna come to Hilton, but King takes oh, him no. out as well. Uh, so keeping things kind of even there. That was an uh, interesting nano to say the least. Wasn't really able to get a lot of value because you do need enemies around if you want it's, kills. It's, it's alright, zoning nano, zoning nano. Zoning yeah, nano. zoning nano. Uh, Oakley yeah. is able to take out Emmy on the Widowmaker. And we are going to see Deja Vu uh, come back and take out Goliath Guy, though. Emmy switching over to the Genji now. Yeah, we also do see War and Peace on this Reinhardt, which obviously he's a really good Reinhardt. And okay, now we have double uh, Widowmaker, except Emmy has switched over to Genji. Emmy's playing mystery <laughs> heroes at this rate. I'm you know, why not? You, you know, you didn't have enough of it for some map. Gotta get some oh. second map. Warren gets the charge uh, after the sleep came out from one of the honest there. I'm not sure which one. Um, it still was the, the nice and easy charge there. Quickly getting kill onto Deja. So they're uh, able to make a pretty easy push through here. Um, you know, need to kind of get the cap uh, pretty soon. They are running low on time and working another kill onto the Reinhardt. Um, so, you know, he is he's really main, maintaining differencing on two different Reinhardts at the same time. Uh, you know, I he, he's just double main tank right now. He's his own double main tank. Yeah, Warren, Warren once again showing his absolute <laughs> dominance on the Reinhardt. I shit my dad. But uh, <laughs> yeah, really good job there by Warren. And this is just going to be the cleanup. Sharpest Tools will be taking the first point. Three minutes in the time bank. It's looking pretty strong. As once again, Emmy is once again playing Mystery Heroes, switches off to that Tracer. <laughs> and Oakley is asserting his dominance over the uh, enemy Widowmaker. So uh, yeah, this is going to be I mean, I would hope that Oakley is asserting that dominance, seeing as uh, he is the hit scam player. So, you know, that that would be my hope here. We do see the Flux oh, Emmy coming out onto oh, both of those tanks. Uh, really trying to not let the Reinhardt have a good time. Do you see the Nano going to be coming down onto uh, King, uh, I believe? Yep. Uh, King getting the kill onto Warren. And so it's really looking like Smash Mouth doing really good here. Glide guy Glide trying guy. to bring it back for the double kill, but I don't think it's going to be enough, and the rest of your team is, in fact, dead. Uh, only so much I one mean, widow can do. It's, it's possible, you know, it can happen at any point, but regardless, uh, the nano going on to King, Hailton having a very buggy experience on that Reinhardt. Uh, of course, Hailton does play on what he calls potato quality, so yeah, kind of rough there. That's why, usually why he is excelling in that Reinhardt. 
Oh, but Klein got to get in the kill on the Deja. That is the, that is the opportunity for sharp for Sharpest Tools to push in here. Yeah, we do see Gladiac currently facing off against one of our Reinhardts here. Actually, both of them are on that high ground. Mainly it's King who is still there. They are going to be dropping down, look, getting that Shatter. Hailstorm does get slept. Uh, and we are going to see the Nana come out onto Warren. Let's see what he can do with it. Hailstorm getting the charge onto Oakley. The guy guy is going to be taking out Emmy. The Shatter is going to be coming down from two Reinhardts there. I believe that was the Warren and the King. King getting called to Plasma. And overall, uh, King does get slept, but it's looking like a Smash Map doing a really good job here holding. Uh, they're going to need some really good, like, Glyguide's continuous picks um, to kind of push through here. Would probably be better if those picks happen during the fight instead of after your team is dead. I mean, it looks Slight like they're going to... Nope, never mind. I was just that, saying, it looks I, like you might be winning with Oakley on the cart. Glyguide's actually still getting picks. This is a sharp, this is sharp tool's opportunity to push in. Yeah, there's only three people really in it right now for uh, Smash Mouth. So if you can push hard and fast, you can definitely get it in here. But, you know, you need to kind of get aggressive there with that. We are going to be seeing the anti come down to Hailstone. He's going to get Shred. King does take out Plasma, though. And so keep keeping things pretty even here. Both no, these tanks charging. We do see the Shroud are going to be getting dropped onto Warren. Uh, but they're able to, the Oakley is able to take out King there. And Glide Guide's going to be taking out Emmy. Both these Widows are going to be helping out a lot here as they continue to push through. We do have Deja getting a stick onto Oakley in the back line, though. That's going to be removing one of the Widows, uh, putting in that pressure. We do have an anti that came down onto uh, Warren, Niku, and Irish there. Uh, they're able to still kind of put in hard rear. Deja and Nano's going to be coming down onto one of, onto Hailstrom there. Hailstrom getting the charge onto Warren Peace. Aqua getting the sleep kill onto Glide Guide. And it is going to continue to be Smash Map holding strong here. The double Reinhardt is simply too much right now, especially with those double Amas backing it up. I mean, obviously, from the voice lines, I can tell that uh, Sharpest Tools is very afraid to fight this team. Oakley is going to be the last desperate toucher. Fly Guy does get the kill on the Emmy. Miko on to Deja Vu. So this is possible here for Sharpest Tools. Oakley just needs to stay alive on this card as long as possible so the rest of the team can get there. Yeah, we do have Warren charging in, but he is going to get counter charged, not able to touch. We do have someone touching, though. We are going to be seeing the grab coming through out here from Miko. And Glide God's going to be getting that kill onto Peridot Plasma and kill on the Hail Shrine. King does come back and take the kill out onto Erish. We do see a shatter coming down. There's so many Rhinos, I don't even know which one it came from. I think it was Warren. Glide God getting a nice 2k. And we see the Nano is going to be coming down onto the Sombra. You don't see that very often. The, uh, but Emmy gets a kill with it onto Miko. Plasma is going to be taking out Emmy with the boob there. We do see the sleep onto Warren as um, I believe that is Aqua is making her escape there. He's just trying to put, or sorry, Oakley trying to put that to that escape. You do see both those Reinhardts coming back, though. It looks like that was going to be a cap, but, you know, we still need to see more work coming out here from Sharpest Tools. These shatters are simply too much, especially with that EMP coming through. And we are going to be seeing them go to the Sharpest Tools. No, not to the no, Sharpest sorry. Tools. No, sorry. Sorry, wrong team names. We're going to see that one go to Smash Mouth. I got confused by the end card. Yay, we are scuffed. <laughs> It's just the first day of All-Stars, don't worry. It gets worse from here. But so regardless, it is, it is gonna be going to be going 1-1 one, one in this fight. Yeah, 1-1 one, one in this All-Star game. And really, it's it's going to be a good fight, man. We've been seeing way too much craziness happen this entire game. Anything goes, to be honest. So, oh my god, it's just, it's nuts. It's where it's really nuts. It's going every direction, nice which way forward. It looks like one team has the advantage, and then the other team doesn't. It's just like... We don't know what's happening. We're just here to witness all of it. We're we're like that dog in the This Is Fine meme. That's literally all we are. We're surrounded by flames right now, and we're trying to figure out what to do. And we're trying to figure out, like, we're saying this is fine, you know? Yeah, before we go to our halftime break, uh, we are going to be getting a Ryan 1v1, uh, Warren the one to challenge Hailshin to that uh, Ryan fight, uh, which I, I think, especially after the Ryan 1v2, uh, will be a bit of a breath of fresh air for Warren. Yeah, absolutely. Warren, obviously a really good Rhine player. Hailton has also been known as a really good Miners Reinhardt, so we'll have to see what the plan is here for that. Um, of course, uh, we are hopefully going to make sure everything is all set in terms of that. Um, so we'll have to see in terms of that. But really, it's going to be uh, up for debate. Yeah, I, I'm definitely excited, and I think one of the biggest things to keep in mind about a Ryan 1v1 is that they don't have any, any of their healers supporting them or backing them up anymore, although they do have like that less general pressure, uh, and so it's going to be interesting to see how they're able to manage 
their shield health and their personal health um, to really kind of get that advantage there. So managing that shield health is really going to be the the biggest thing in the one v one. Although actually, no, shield health doesn't mean anything. It's around one v one, so there's no one shooting at them. I'm yeah. stupid. Why would you? Why? Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. You didn't correct me until I pointed it out myself, so you don't get any points, Bowser. Well, you just, you, just you don't get any points, Bowser. I was trying to interrupt you. I was trying to focus on other stuff for crying out loud, and not to mention you talk like you talk nonstop. I could have easily interrupted you, anyway, but like anyway, I don't like interrupting. So anyway, um, but yeah. So anyway, it's still gonna be interesting to see how they manage their health uh, without that support that they're used to. Um, and see if they're going to be able to uh, pull that off. We do have Hilshin, uh giving the R and Warren just waiting for on him. Um, we've, we're seeing some interesting team names going to be given here by uh, Ford. We have the Viper and Big Iron. Um, don't know where those are coming from, but we are going to have uh, Hilshin as Big Iron and Warren as the Viper. This, this War, like Warren, Warren types in chat. News. I have 13 frames. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, well, thankfully Warren is going to be getting an upgrade computer soon. Yeah, Hilton, Hilton and playoffs, Warren. But... Yeah, Hilton and Warren. Obviously, they have the, not Warren's really playoffs, good. Hilton and Warren, both Reinhardt players, both have potato quality computers. This is going to be as tanky as you can get, pun intended. Yep. Uh, we are Warren still waiting, despite sacrifices. the fact that both of them are here. I think that is because Hellstrom is still loading in. But yes, we are going to be seeing these two Rhines. Right off, one in the Shanghai Dragon skin, one in that nice sharp red skin I don't remember the name of. Uh, and I want to say it's Bloodheart because... That, you know, I think that's correct. Yeah, um, he does so have an axe most likely. First Shanghai Dragon. So uh, we'll have to see. O official overwork? They're, they're or... just going oh, ham, and usually the charge coming out from Hellstrom is going to be winning that one. Spinning like a maniac after his kill. Uh, just what you love to see. I do believe they both have their proper golden guns. Uh, if, if one of them did not have a golden gun, uh, I'd, I'd honestly just be a huge disappointment there. Um, you'll have to I, I tell mean, me how Shanghai Dragons going to see uh, if one's draw, going to be drawing on that power. I mean, Shanghai Dragons are currently, they, they were the regular season champions. They're going on in the final four. So there is a chance here as both Reinhardt <laughs> missed their charges. Uh, cut the VOD, cut the VOD, cut the VOD. They don't want to... <laughs> no, no, they're great. They're great players. They, they hit every charge. Yeah, they hit every charge. At this rate, health is probably going to be charging off Warren at this rate. Oh, the charge! It's actually a response charge from Warren. Keeps him on the point. And yeah, swinging so away! Swinging away. Warren getting lower health, but Hellshin also very low. But Hellshin is going to be taking out Warren here yet again. Uh, just one more kill that Hellshin needs to prove himself here on this Reinhardt. But we could be still see Warren bring it back in a reverse sweep. Reverse sweep is possible, so we'll have to see is War and Peace up for that reverse sweep or is Hilton going to be taking this 3-0? You do see the meeting here at the statue at Castillo. It's going to depend on if the first charge lands, if the fire strike lands, they are shielding. Because I believe of both course... those fire strikes missed. Oh, the they charge, charge each other away from themselves because physics makes sense, guys. Yes, guys. they do. Overall, it's it perfect and the physics makes sense. I, I actually, Hilton is running away. Look at the health pool <laughs> compared to Hilton and Warren. Hilton does have a disadvantage here, so Warren might be able to come back with us. They're yeah. meeting together. Ooh. There's the charges. This might be the end of it for Hilton, and the yeah. Warren takes the back. Hilton was at the point where he just had to play for that fire strike, so he needed to get that distance so he could hit it. Uh, so we are going to be seeing a 2-1 right now. Warren could be coming back here, but Hilton, again, still just needs one kill uh, to win this all here and prove that he truly is better on. Yeah, we'll have to see Warren versus Hilton here. Warren, of course, trying to get that reverse sweep. Hilton trying to end it here and now. He'll see no no uh, charges or fire strikes landed yet, but Warren's on the receive again. And it is going to be going to Hilton, uh, proving that he is the superior Reinhardt, at least in the 1v1 setting, because things are always different in a team setting. Yeah, um, absolutely. But so, yeah. yeah, really uh, good job with there the Reinhardt. Yeah, definitely really good job there by both Reinhardts. I saw a lot of there were some awkward moments, but there were a lot of puggers moments. So great job there, and really, I, I still just love Kalshin spitting it maniacally after his first kill. I wish I could do that. I used to have a DPI switch on my mouth, and of course, the play of the game shows absolutely no kills whatsoever. It didn't exist. This Ryan duel was all a fake. Yep, uh, we are going to go to a about five minute halftime here, and then we will be coming back. Uh, with what I believe is going to be goats on hybrid. Obviously, it's going to be King Zero, as you all know. 
Uh, and then Ooh. Assault, which is going to be our only normal map, which is going to be taking place on Hanamura. So make sure to stay tuned in for those exciting maps.
and welcome back. Uh, so far, this is, is the All-Stars Miners. So far, uh, we have had Sharpest Tools winning the Mystery Heroes game, and then Smash Mouth winning the No Limits 2v2. Uh, and now we are going to be moving on to our GOATS map. Uh, it is going to be here on King's Row, and it is going to be pretty exciting. Very exciting, and I feel like the biggest challenge here is which of these Reinhardts is going to crash first. Pretty Warren, much. <laughs> yeah. Warren Peace and Hilton both run on potatoes. So we'll have to see which one of those crashes first. Um, other than that, I feel like we have a lot of strong competition on both sides of the equation, really. We've seen Peridot on really good Ana, Aqua on a really good Lucio. It's really going to, I feel like it's going to come down to the Brigitte and Zarya positions when we think about this matchup. Because we yeah. haven't really seen Glyguide, Oakley, King, or Deja on Zarya or uh, Brig. So maybe, who knows? Maybe Emmy might be pulling out the Zarya, but I feel like Emmy would want to pull out that Diva for Goats. Oh, yeah. Emmy is definitely pulling out the Diva. Like before anyone else loads in, Emmy is going to have clicked the Diva. <laughs> no, um, Emmy is going to play Diva easy. And I don't, I don't think anyone's going to argue with that. Uh, they, they should lose that argument. Um, it, it is important to keep in mind, if both Reinhardts crash, that is an issue. We only have <laughs> one tank sub in the lobby. I can sub in and stop casting for a bit. Don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, let, let's hope neither of them crash. Um, but who knows? Um, if one of them crashes, we at least for the first one, we're just going to kind of immediately slot in our tank sub here, um, yeah. who will be revealed if they are needed. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to have some subs here, obviously, in case something goes wrong as we head in to yeah. our GOATS map, King's Row. And guys, I think they're going to play GOATS. Uh, Just actually, to guess. I think we do have a problem because I believe, once again, we have... Did you put it on Mystery Heroes settings, portal? Respawn as random hero is chosen <laughs> as a mode okay, right now. Okay, we're gonna go back to lobby and fix that real quick. <laughs> Welcome to our scuffed gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. I tried to warn portal about this, so don't blame me. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna have the correct settings and load back in. That that all right was for it. I believe that was heard on stream. Yeah, he, he yep. is chilling in the voice chat with us, so he gets to hear all of us yelling at him. Everybody say <laughs> hi, portal in the chat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, great start. Uh, we are going to hopefully get back into King's Row momentarily without having people spawn as random heroes. <laughs> um, if, you're looking for, if you're looking for it, portal, it's in resp it's in the modes. So uh, yeah, yeah, it should be modes all um, is, is where you'll find it in the little bottom section if you're still looking, or you can just yeah. pass it off to me and I'll fix it. Um, he'll probably pass it off to you and you fix it. <laughs> nah, nah, he he's got this. He's got. This. We believe in Ford. He's this scuffed, but it's okay. That's true. Um, we're, all, we're all scuffed in, we're all scuffed inside. Yeah. So who do we who do you think is gonna be playing the Brigida? I feel like Deja might have might have Brigida up her sleeve. I think King has actually played the Brigitte before in game. Ooh, okay. So okay. It's a possibility Maybe that we might be seeing King on the Brigitte. I mean, you do tend now. to see the projectile on the Brigitte, and they're both projectile players. And then over on the other side, they're both hit scan players. So they're going to be probably arguing quite a bit over who has to play Brig. And the other yeah. side arguing. Well, I don't think anyone really argues over who has to play Zarya. It's who gets to play Zarya most of the time. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe they're both yeah. adamant about that Brig play. Yeah, who knows? As we are actually getting into the game now without uh having people spawn on random heroes it's actually kind of funny because before the map started i'm pretty sure warren spawned on the reinhardt so oh god what am i looking at on the side of smash uh, now uh, <laughs> um, interesting things is what you're looking at we have hilton yeah. over there on the brigida and king is gonna be playing the reinhardt deja taking uh, that zarya slot uh, aqua and Perda on kind of generally what you'd expect yeah, um, I mean, we do expect Emmy on the D.Va as well, but everything else seems sort of up in the air, like, why am I seeing this? This is cursed. I'm going to have to pour bleach into my <laughs> On the uh, side of Sharp yeah. Tools, however, more traditional comps. We do have Warren on the main tank, Nico D.Va, Oakley, Zarya, Glide Guide, Briggs, Arish, Lucio, Plasma, Anna. This is what we expected. 
let's see if wacky will beat traditional or the other way around yeah we are gonna be seeing them start to face off here and throwing shots all around we see the bashes coming out uh but as is typical goods fashion so far no one's gonna die except that i said that a hell shit both the brigadas go down uh, along with king and warren so this is keeping really really even here um both brigs both reinhardt's down uh and they're still gonna be facing off just trying to lob those shots back and forth seeing who's gonna be getting the next kill uh we see the you know Erich on Lucio trying to boop some players into her team. Deja's gonna get the kill on Oakley though, and Emmy is gonna be getting team next here. Deja go doing a good job on the Zarya, also gonna be taking out Plasma on the Ana, and it looks like uh, they will be capping here. Uh, you do have some returning players as they might go for the recontest, but I don't think so, because right now Smash Mouth is looking pretty strong, and so I would not want to push back into that. And yeah, it as they're look looking like, strong, they yeah. are continuing to take that space. Yeah, sharpest tools. Obviously, they try want to try to hold back here, try to get everyone back. Everyone is back now on the side of sharpest tools, so they might be able to hold here at the arches as long as something goes wrong. We see the grab uh, coming grab through, uh, grabbing the uh, nano Reinhardt, a huge slam, kind of being able to get that one for free off the grab. And it's you oh, know another, going pretty well. We see grab. another grab coming out, a beat gang thrown down as well. Trans. We get to see the double support all coming out from Aqua and Peridot. That tends to happen when you don't have that practice coordination. Peridot is going to be getting kill onto Glide, guys. And we see the Rally going to be helping them continue to push through and get that space. And really just, you know, I I'd be scared of that Goat's composition. Which is odd to say because we have multiple off rolls going on there. You see the Diva Bomb going to be getting thrown down by Miko. Uh, you know, yeah. still alive here looking to uh, go okay. somewhere. I don't really know. Yeah. It's kind of weird that Miko did not use that self-destruct earlier. I mean, you had the beat and the trance come out. It's easy to get an easy bomb in there and just devastate the entire enemy team. But you regardless, say that, but bo bomb is highly skilled. That's why you see very few people actually getting kills with it anymore. That's fair. Um, Sharpest tools will be pushing in now onto uh, Smash Mouth as they try to claim the real a self -destruct enemy bomb is coming line down. Line. Oh, uh, he's able to get Plasma though. Plasma not able to quite get out in time, but Aqua is going to be going down over there. For Smash Mouth, kind of keeping things pretty even here, as we're going to be seeing a beat get thrown out from Goresh Gigal, a Shatter coming out from King, and King is going to be getting a decent amount of value there off that Shatter, and it's going to be uh, getting two kills there for Smash Mouth. Oakley also going to be going down, and right now we see just Smash Mouth continue to rain destruction here as they continue to push through. Looks like they will be getting the point B cap and moving on to point C. The beat was just a little too late there from Arish Kagal. It almost saved Warren's life, but it was not to be. We will be seeing uh, Smash Mouth take point B, speaking of B. But now you do see that Smash Mouth might have a better opportunity here. Oakley will have that grab. Warren has the shatter, so I'll have to see what the move is here from Sharpest yeah, Tools. see the shatter coming slam. out from Warren. Huge, able to get uh, Hailshin off of it. Uh, but we do have the trans coming out, which is going to be saving the rest of the team and letting them kind of escape. Rush is going to be going down to Deja Vu. And King is going to be able to take out War and Peace. They may actually be able to continue moving back in here. And we do see King kind of in the back line, going to be swinging away. We see the self destructor coming out as well there from Ami. Uh, not able to clinch any kills, but King is swinging away and is able to get those kills on his own. And continuing to push through here. And uh, some info from the chat apparently, King was the Brigida for Quantum Charge back in season two. Uh, back when Goat still existed. Yeah. Um, so, I, just some background thought, for you there. I wasn't in here season 2 and I thought that was the case. But yeah, well, I mean, he we was a projectile player, player, so that is what you would expect. We, sure. grab we will be seeing Sharpest Tools coming back in, but Warren dying early is not a good sign. It's going to be on Miko's bomb here to settle everything, and unfortunately does not get anything. So, look around here for Sharpest Tools. Yep, and so it's just going to be kind of going back and forth here right now. Just trying to get those kills to be able to get the cart, but we do have the shorter respawns for Sharpest Tools. So I imagine they're going to be able to come out here. King is going to be uh, going down. Miku is going to be falling off. And Hailstrom does get the boop onto Oakley in that fight as well. Uh, but, you know, I still expect Sharpest Tools going to be able to do well here as long as they're oh, uh, totally destroyed. But War and Peace can be going down. Aerith does get the boop on Hailstrom, though. Deja is going to be getting that kill into Glide Guide as well. And so Deja really just doing a great job on this Zarya. We do see the B is going to be coming down from Arish Gigal, uh, just trying to keep her team up so that they can get the kills that they need on Smash Mouth. Deja still doing some work though. We do have King now back swinging around, but uh, with the short response, so is Warren. Warren getting a nice 2k shatter there, but the shatter is also coming out from King getting three. Uh, no kills coming out from either of those. King does get a charge on the Plasma, or a kill on Plasma though. 
Um, you saw a grab getting thrown out there uh, to very little effect as far as I can tell. Maybe I think that's what Team Akimiko with the boob is going to be coming out from Aqua. Boob also coming out from Emmy as well. Really getting those boobs there over on Smash Mouth. You see the grab and Coalescence coming down. We're going to be seeing a self-destruct on point. Going to be getting two Plasma not using the fade and they're going to be having a 2 minutes 40 on the clock. Yep, just really good execution there from uh, All Stars. There were signs of brilliance there, and there were signs that this fight could have gone the way of, um, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm blanking out here, Sharpest Tools. But unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. Now, Sharpest Tools will be on the attack, and as you can see on the top, uh, uh, Smash Mouth have 2 minutes and 40 seconds in their time bank. Not a bad time on King's Row. It could be a lot better, but still. Yeah, and, and I will say, while Goats is generally just one big brawl surrounding vaguely the point, um, you know, it's possible that we see a worse defense here from Smash Mouth and so Sharp Stool is able to get a similar time bank. Uh, we'll just have to see how this ends up going and see if they are going to be able to get a full cap here. Yeah, it does actually seem like they want to try a different style here. King, obviously known for a very aggressive Reinhardt, is now going to be playing the Brigitte with Helton now on the Reinhardt. So most likely, this is a strategy to have uh, Helton play a more passive style while King plays a more aggressive style. This would work in Overwatch League, actually. You could have a DPS player that could play a good Reinhardt. So really, it's going to come down to what is the response here from the side of uh, Sharpest Tools. So we'll have to see as it looks like they are making some big swaps here in their uh, support line. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, uh -oh. Uh, oh, Sam, no. everything seems mostly the same. Uh, just kind of some swaps between uh, Glide and Plasma there. Uh, we are going to be seeing multiple charges going off. This is the uh, worst goats I think I've ever seen just in that one singular half a second where it is going to be going down. Uh, and yeah, it's just going to be um, the Smash Mouth uh, kind of slaughtering there. I don't know what that was. Viper is asking the same question from the coach's side. Um, it was a mess. That's all I'm, I know. I, I'm I sorry, hope you I see better. I, you heard a lot of laughing there from me in the background. Um, not just because they were all holding in the corner of the hotel, waiting for everything to uh, unfold there, but Warren somehow, some way, was able to initiate the Rhine bug where he is running well, forward instead I, of I mean, charging. his computer is on fire. So. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we worried about. We are going to be seeing our tank sub come in here for Warren, unfortunately. Yep. It is going to be that. Uh, Muddy Snaps from Kraken Skulls, who is able to come and be our tank sub here. Uh, so excited to see Muddy Snaps. He's going to be able to get, you know, half a map in here. Uh, assuming Warren is able to come back from map four, which we do hope that uh, his computer will maybe uh, put itself out. <laughs> <laughs> we, it is not we, literally we, on fire, don't worry. But Yeah, yeah. we feared about that. No worries. Yeah, this is a, this is a typical thing for Warren. Uh, he's obviously had this problem, but regardless, he will hopefully be getting that new PC tune. Trust me, Warren, I've been in the same situation as you. I was a support player during GOATS, and I ran on 17 frames per second during an official match. Pain I mean, it, it was, I, I played that back when I had a laptop, and I was just, like, chilling on my couch because I didn't want to sit at a desk for most yeah. of my GOATS games. I was fine, and my computer, um, I'm trying to find the words to say this without swearing, but uh, was trash. It was a trash fire computer, and I don't know how I ever used to play on it. But it was fine back then, honestly. I, mean, I didn't have that many issues. I mean, was yours a gaming computer, or was it like just a no. normal laptop? Okay, you're exactly <laughs> in the same boat as I was. It was not a gaming computer. I, I thought so. I thought so. It's exactly the same boat I was in. I had a trash laptop from Insert Company here. So we had to deal, I had to deal with that low frame rate, integrated graphics, which was the worst decision of my entire life. So many other bad things on that PC. Thank God it's sitting back at my house right now, sitting on a table, never being used ever again. Yeah, I, I don't remember what happened to mine, but I don't really care. I, I think it ended up getting passed on to my sister or something. Uh, so I, I hope she's enjoying that trash fire now, but... Uh, hey. And by that I mean she's not. It's still a bad computer. <laughs> yeah, it is still a bad computer. I totally relate with you. Sometimes computers just don't want to work. 
Regardless, out of this computer talk, we're still waiting on the match to start. Uh, looks like they're still trying to settle in with everyone to make sure everything is all set for the teams. Uh, we are actually, we are waiting on uh, Rainbow. You might want to go check. Uh, you might want to scroll down in the voice chat. Um, yeah, I, I am seeing if you can get moved. Okay, someone else is yeah. able to take care of it. Yeah, um, perfect. Yeah, so it's now in the proper voice chat. Uh, so we should be able to get started here soon. Um, so yes, yeah, so money supposed to be coming in on that Reinhardt. Uh, hopefully they're able to make up for that lost time in that first fight, and uh, you know see what happens. I, I I was saying this about the fight. Even if Warren is not doing that random glitching computer stuff, uh, it was still bad, and I'm still disappointed yeah. in every single person in this I, match. I I I wish I could have taken a screenshot of like the two teams on either side of the wall, but unfortunately I just didn't have enough time because they were already rushing in. Uh, so. Yeah, but it was just really weird goats. That's no, <laughs> that shouldn't be how you play goats. But regardless, we should be getting started here in just a few seconds. We're still waiting on everything to be settled but, in. But yeah, is, um, is goats goats is supposed to be a a clear unit versus a clear unit. It mm -hmm. is not supposed to be a random collection of people versus a random collection of people, which is what we were seeing. I mean, yeah. to be fair, that's why I've been seeing most of this, because these people do not remember how Goats is played. Uh, but, you know, that makes sense. It's kind of been a long while. <laughs> All right, what regardless, it? we are like getting back. Over, over a year. Yeah, we are getting back into the match now. Uh, Money Snaps has filled in on the Reinhardt. Uh, so we are going to see if Money Snaps will be the MTD that this team desperately needs after Warren literally got MTD and his computer got MTD as well. Yeah, Hailsham does get a charge off, but Money Snaps returning the favor, and Money Snaps is going to be going down first along with Plasma. Uh, Smash Mouth really kind of doing the secure job. Deja did go really low, but as his goats, uh, she was able to get healed back up very fast, supposed to with that trans coming out. Hailsham getting the double kill with the fire strike. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's without window. That's that anything else. He just gets that uh, and is going to get a charge with Miko as well. Yeah, he, uh, but, uh, Hilton ended up charging Miko into the spawn door. Which, uh, that is a lot of pain, and the king is actually flanking, is actually looking for a flank for Gita. Uh, he does get found out, but Glide Guide is all alone, the rest of his team isn't there. Yep, yeah, the shadow from the back, also gonna be throwing in the self-destruct for good measure, and if I, I just feel bad for Sheriff's tools at this point. I feel bad for my snaps, he comes in for half a map and, uh, he's just dying repeatedly. I mean, that's my life in a nutshell when it comes to pugs, so don't worry about it. But regardless, you will be having some alts coming up here on Sharpest Tools. Grav, Gum, Trans. We've seen, uh, never mind, not, not anything. I'm missing up the teams, but we can definitely see some big impact kills here if these two are able to work. There's a grab for Deja Blue, though. Trans helped keep them alive, but Trans will not really help, uh, or no, Self-Destruct was defensive, helped zone them out. It's hard to tell which teams these come from, there's so many effects on my screen. They also just get the charge plan. kill and the shatter. And doing really well, but almost looked like they, they were going to lose a member, a single member of their team. But, you know, luckily they had those ults there, and he already has another Shatter. Uh, actually, it was Muddy Snap Shatter. Oh, sorry. sorry. Not, uh, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, about like it. I said, Helps it's hard well to tell that Shatter the from the same comp. Yeah, so... Ghosts can be confusing. It is a hard thing to talk about. Again, I never really cast the Ghosts before. But we will be seeing these teams trying to go in, and they're no, tails the tower. I would think they'd have remembered that that, was gonna, <laughs> that, that had happened before. And it could happen again. Uh, so they're going to be getting back to the spawn room. Only a minute left. Uh, I would like to give a plea out to Smash Mouth here. Just let him win one fight, so you can just go, go on a bit longer. Um, yeah, we we can we can try to. Glide guy yeah, will have that know. trance. Miko's about to have another bomb. We could be seeing another fight here. It all depends on if they are able to use these alts effectively, or if they're just going to be shooting. Money snaps dying early. Suggest the latter. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be throwing down the trance, trying to help keep things alive, and we'll see how that ends going. Also going to be throwing down the rally, trying to quarter off Belchin there, but it's not really going to be working. As we see, two take alts going to be coming out. Oh, just gonna keep things alive for, for Smash Mouth. Yeah, Oakley does get the kill on the King, though, so there is an opportunity here for uh, Sharper's tools. It all depends if they're able to touch that point. Ten seconds remaining on the clock. Emmy's out of mech. This might be the uh, chance. Shark the coming down. Yeah, Emmy does get killed. They do have the grab coming through. Along with the self-destruct, this seems possible. You need someone nice to touch the point, though. We have one second left, and we can get the touch out from Arish. And yeah, with Miko getting that three candy and the follow-up kill on today, so they are going to be getting point A. I'm really glad Smash Mouth listened to me. You know, they, they let them get first to keep this going on a bit longer, keep things entertaining. 
I'm just kidding. Yeah. No, no, no. Sharp, yeah. sharp stools won that fair and square. Um, yep, and definitely. so with that momentum of that that one fight win, we could be seeing um, them continue to win these fights, but we'll just kind of see how it ends up going. Big slam from we'll Mario nice in the back line. Yep, and they are going to be getting some additional kills. They are going to be winning at least one more fight here. As we do just have uh, Vegeta chilling on the card there in the back as we do some rain down. Money Snap is going to be falling, so they aren't going to be able to capitalize a lot with with space here. Um, they were able to win that one fight and fend off Smash Map for a little bit. Yeah, Plasma off to tweets from the payload. I mean, we've already heard that story before, but regardless, really good engagement from Money Snaps. This will push the cart at least two corners up. So now Sharpest Tools from having barely capped the point to now getting halfway through point B. So we'll have to see if they're able to keep it, the momentum going. I'll start a uh, Smash Mouth though. They're getting a lot of ults on board. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing the transcends coming down along with the beat. Uh, there's uh, another double support all we see in this fight. Uh, Mighty Sun's gonna be getting the kill into Hellish and they're continuing to push forward now that the Rhine is gone. They can take even more of that space there. Mighty Sun's will be going down, but King also falling as well. Uh, so they're not gonna be able to capitalize too much here, but they're gonna be able to stay alive. And as I said, we see both tank ults coming out from Smash Mouth. Uh, not getting any kills with either of those though. Uh, but they are able to kind of get some space off the back of that and we are going to be seeing Sherpa's tools have to back up and wait for Muddy and then they'll be able to push back in with uh, some of their ults that we have coming up here. Yeah, we're going to be having a 6v6 coming in when King comes in, so it'll be interesting to see what the result is here. Muddy has the shatter, Hilton has the shatter. Let's see what's the big slam to be first. The bigger slam from Muddy! Uh, I mean, I think neither of them really got anyone. Muddy Snap's only got one. Uh, we do have that ground coming through, though, and along with Transcend, really all ults coming up from everywhere. Hilton going to be getting by Snaps and Plasma, though. Uh, so it's looking like it is still going to be Smash Mouth uh, winning this fight here, and... You know, Sharpest Tools just really need to lose fast or, and run away because they only have 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, and Miko getting D-Max as well is not good. They will be able to kill Miko in the end, but unfortunately, it's just a little hair too late. Money does have another Shatter, though, because he was able to profit off of Oakley's grab. So we'll have to see if Sharpest Tools are able to push in and get anywhere onto this cart. The cart is two corners ahead, so we'll have to see if they're able to push in. Maybe Eris will be able to touch. Eris is actually going on that resolution. Quiet guys, that's really good. Yeah, we do have that bomb and shatter. Nice. Miko getting three. This is the opening they need. Money snaps. This is going to be going down. And we do see another shatter going to come through from Hailshin there. But it's, you know, going to be seeing a bomb coming out from Emmy. Able to get two, though. So that's evening things up. Smash Mouth still doing pretty well in this fight. And Plasma gets the kill on the Hailshin, though. But with Miko going down, it's Plasma against. This Diva and Lucio here, although we do have some reinforcements Fly coming in. in. Black got it coming back with the Zenyatta, and Muddy Snaps is also back as well. It looks like they should be able to win oh, this. We ground. saw a grab somewhere. I don't yeah, even know got, where that was. It was a lob. It was a lob. It went straight behind the payload, behind everyone else. That's not good if you are uh, a, a Smash Mouth. This is your match to win. Now you just threw away one of your most important ults. They might be losing point B here. Yeah, I, I think they will. We do have Hellshin going down there. Lucio just trying to stall it out. And the trans as well to help keep everyone up. So it just kind of give them an opportunity here. We see the beat is going to be coming down. Sharp's tools, which is really going to be keeping everyone alive. Everyone was really low at that point. Miko getting on the Perijote. And so they should be able to get that final cap. Um, it, it is Goats, though. So we, we do say, like, the, the important ult was wasted. But it's Goats, so it really wasn't it, it, in some ways, at least. Like, you lose that fight, but you already are at 65% to another one, so... That, uh, that is fair, yeah. yeah Ghost does have a lot of very, Yeah, it's very unimportant in Ghost, really. We do have another bomb going to be coming out here. Does catch oh. the live guide, unfortunately. But Erish gets the kill on you. Hailshin evening things up. We have the Shatter grab. and the Grabs coming out as well. The beat getting thrown down. All the yields getting thrown down. This is Goats, and Money Snaps with the uh, nice swinging away is going to be moving his team further along here even if they do get this cap they aren't gonna have very much time on the clock yeah absolutely they might not have any time on the clock if uh all stars are able to uh stall it out for long enough king is the first one out if they get this early king of the uh, kill on the king this might be a light out for them but money steps trying to do everything they can it's gonna get hectic from here yeah, oh, Money Snaps no. falling, Hailshin falling. We have a bomb gonna be coming out from Nico. He's gonna get one and he's rolling there for a bit uncontested. We have the 
uh, Rav's gonna be coming down here, not really getting any direct kills off of that. Uh, World's put some damage in, but right now they're all pretty healthy. Miko is uh, looking to get T Mech there. Does keep T Mech before the trans can save her life there. Uh, but keeping Money's Kajula alive, we have Muddy Snaps is gonna be coming back here. Muddy Snaps getting the call to Hell, she is able to get a free shatter off of that. We have Cactus 2, we do have the bomb coming out here, but the cap is gonna be coming through. And we have a fight here. It is going to be 1 minute to 3 minutes 39 seconds. So definitely still looking in Smash Mouth's favor, but it could go either way. One, one second on the clock, and they were able to cap that. One second less, and this would have been an overtime. So I got to give a round of applause to uh, Sharpest Tools being able to rally back from that. They will be going on the attack here. Only a minute in the time bank, but... A minute is better than nothing, you know? Yep, for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm just excited to see what we see happen, see if we can get Sharpest Tools to you know, kind of have a reversal, maybe have a better attack this time around, especially since they're going to be starting with Money Snap, so uh, they might do a better chance breaking through in that first fight. Yeah, absolutely. We will be seeing pretty much the exact same thing coming out from both sides. Hilton on the Rhine, King on the Brig. No changes on either side. I do find it interesting that Glide Guide has been playing the Zen instead of Plasma, which obviously is a change in terms of the uh, the uh, support line. So pretty interesting there. Maybe uh, Plasma is not comfortable on the Zen. Glide was just on the Zen. Also, Ooh. Plasma with the game. So we're gonna go to another pause and get another sub in here. Uh, luckily, we do have a sub for each roll. Um, so, uh, due to do, we are going to want to drag Pog in here. Um, who is uh, from, I, why am I forgetting the team that Pog is on? I am a thrower. I mean, I don't know what half of these people are on, so I'm, uh, I am even worse. Uh, yeah, so let me, let me go double check that, make sure I'm going to give right information instead of guessing. Um, I did, I did check all the zero, so Pog is a support for uh, Koala Kings here. Yep, uh, we are saying that, uh, they are saying that Plasma will be coming back, um, uh, so. Yeah, it's, it's only for a little bit of the map, though, so I'd rather just kind of give, give Pog in even a little bit of time to play, uh, if we That's can get fair. Pog in VC. That's fair, so we'll end up seeing if they want to put in Pog or if they're going to bring in Plasma, so, uh, yeah, we'll definitely see that, um, but yeah, really interesting GOATS match so far, um, so we'll have to see what the, uh, plan is in terms of these compositions see what they're going to be running eight seconds remain on the clock so if so if and when plasma gets in uh they're gonna have uh just eight seconds to pick their role so we'll have to see how that goes uh yeah can you keep talking for a second i just want to make sure we get some sorted out yeah no worries we are obviously we're looking at this match again we did talk about how on the side of uh, sh uh, Sharpest Tools, they do have one minute in the clock. They were able to cap it with one second left. It's going to be interesting to see here because they seem to be really strong once they were able to cap that point. There were a lot of strong points. It felt like it felt like that they were starting to roll a little bit. So um, we'll have to see what the outcome is here uh, for uh, Sharpest Tools, if they're going to be able to win the match or if, they, or if they're going to be able to get a tick on point one or if they're going to be going home with no progress and need to force it to a draw i swear to god if we get a draw in the ghost uh, match it's gonna be interesting i mean yeah luckily we don't have to worry about any scores or anything uh this is all for fun I mean, we're not going to go into a map five if they tie it up so dang all right the, ma the yeah, map five yeah, will no be determined five. by a torb hammer 1v1 uh winner takes all uh, but yeah, so they, they promised Plasma is going to be coming back, but so far Plasma is not back. Um, it's their life. Yeah, so we are currently <laughs> waiting on Plasma. Um, they are saying uh, that uh, they are in the that uh, Plasma is in the game right now. However, she is not in the lobby, so we need to wait on that. So uh, pretty sure Plasma is a god. I apologize, Plasma. I am very scuffed this evening. <laughs> Just because uh, I think all of our other supports are girls, Plasma is not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that also kind of confuses me. Oops. Indeed, just, just remember players easy. Yep. After after a little bit of time, Plasma is now back in the game, so we will be getting started here very closely, very uh, quickly. So yeah, Plasma's back in. We're gonna be getting started, and we're gonna see if Sharpest Tools will be able to hold to be able to get any progress here on the on King's Row for their one minute overtime attack. 
Okay, so we are officially going to be getting started back here. Um, and we do have a plasma back as well. And luckily, it wasn't actually affecting anything because plasma is able to get right on roll in here for this attack. Yep, 60 seconds on the clock. Let's see if Sharpfit's tools are going to be able to do anything here in this one minute, or if this is going to go to the hand of uh, Smash Mouth. A big charge, though. Yeah, we'll see if they're able to, to get those kills off of it. Emmy and Hailshin going really low, but they're not able to secure the kills. And that's really important. Aqua trouble. also going really low. Muddy Snap's going to be first to go down along with Plasma. You really need to finish off those kills. You can't just let them go low and walk away from it. And they are going to be losing that first fight here. They only really have one more, and it's basically half a fight. I accidentally dropped my mic there, and uh, let's slip, so sorry about the audio. Yeah, don't worry about it. So now we will be seeing this is the last desperate attempt here for Sharpest Tool. Someone's got a touch as well. Oakley's already half health. This is looking disastrous here, but it's still a possibility. Hilton with the flank shatter or the flank charge. It's a good kill though, so there's an opportunity here. Will they be able to touch the point before overtime? It is getting well. pretty even. The Plasma... from Libby! Sorry. <laughs> Plasma is using that rally to help push in there. And we are going to be seeing them fight out on the point. Definitely still a chance to see the trans is going to be coming out uh, from uh, Peridote there. Sorry, there's so many people all around. And it looks like we see Smash Map is going to be uh, looking to win this here, especially with that bomb from any taking out Oak. Yeah, taking out Oakley, using that shatter just, you know, for extra effect there. So only really a chance for uh, uh, Sharpest Tools to hold them here. Uh, they are not going to be able to win here on King's Row. Emmy saved that entire game for uh, Smash Mouth. You heard me screaming and then Rainbow fell silent because he was just that scared. The grab eat that Emmy was able to pull off from Oakley. That is huge. The first grab eat here of the GOATS match, which honestly is kind of surprising and really awesome. It's really so, sad, I think, is what it is. Yeah, pretty sad. Uh, Oakley's going to be crying and having nightmares for the next five weeks. So, uh, great job, Emmy. You just cost... Uh, you pretty much just cost uh, uh, Hyperion their playoff spot. But regardless, we are going to be seeing now Sharpest Tools coming out on the defense, trying to secure the spot here. And once again, just like on their former attack, Smash Mouth is going to be coming out with King on Reinhardt, Hailton on Brigitte. Yeah, we'll see what they're able to do. Uh, I assume they'll be able to get that one tick in their 3 minutes 39 seconds. Uh, if I not, mean... that'll be a severe falling off of Smash Mouth. Yeah, absolutely. Smash Mouth, of course, does have a lot to, has a lot to win here. Very slight chance of losing, but anything could happen. This is GOATS. This is mayhem so far. So we'll see if that inclusion of money stamps will be a better main tank presence than that of War and Peace. No offense, Warren, you're not the main tank, but we'll see if uh, uh, Sharpest Tool is able to hold this off. Yeah, we do already see King discorded here. Uh, gonna be a bit scared pushing that, uh, and, and just got a lot of shots back and forth right now, oh, and Money Snap's money. gonna be the first to go down to Aqua. Aqua, I, I love you. You're great, Lucy Bear. And they're gonna be continuing to roll in here. It's, it's not looking great for Sharpest Tools. They don't take out King, though, but it's really not gonna be enough, and you're gonna be seeing this cap come through as long as they stand the point. <laughs> but Deja Vu going once again with that crazy DPI switcher. And that will be Smash Mouth taking a King's Row and the GOATS map. So obviously now it is 2-1 Smash Mouth here in the All-Stars game with one map remaining. Again, if it goes to a tie, it don't matter. This is for fun. But we will see what the plan is. Yeah, I mean, if, if, they, if they do tie TCP um, also, or sorry, not, not also, but sorry, if they win, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you here. Um, anyway, not the point. We're going to be moving on to the regular match. Yay, um, the, the thing we usually came here for. Yeah, it is going to be on Hanamura. Uh, there is just their chance to be serious and show what they got. Yeah, absolutely. It's always good to have uh, uh, a uh, sort of like a regular match and all of this sort of craziness. But we will see what the plan is here from both sides. I believe War and Peace... Excuse me. War and Peace should be in the lobby still, so we should be able to uh, keep in. So we should be able to bring him back in for Muddy. So we'll see. Oh, and I, I apologize. We are actually going to be doing a uh, Devo 1v1 here next. 
uh, between Emmy and Miko before we get into Hanamura. Yep, it's always good to have those fun 1v1s. Of course, we try to do these in between every map as much as we can. So, you know, it's just a fun thing to uh, do before we end up uh, se setting into our, like, serious mode. We have a little bit of fun, and then we go into the actual maps. So, yep, it will be, I'm pretty sure, Emmy and Miko battling out for a Diva 1v1. Am I correct? Uh, yes, yes. I uh, have brains. I, I believe it was um, Emmy who wanted to challenge Miko there. Miko, uh, very happy to take up that challenge. Uh, so we'll see if, if Emmy's able to prove himself here. Uh, both of them had, you know, great bombs in that last uh, 1v1, or I'm sorry, in that last uh, map. So I'm excited to see what happens in this 1v1. Yeah, definitely. It'll be interesting to see what the plan is here for the uh, for the 1v1 Um Obviously, it's going to be a little bit different than before, so we'll have to see how it goes. We will be going, hopefully, to Castillo for the map. Right now, it's on a way to the city center, because I believe Portal is doing everything from scratch. I don't want yes, really know. Instead of using Portal, the uh, easy code I had set up. Um, yeah, that'd be helpful. But yeah, yeah. Uh, now we have our team names of GG and EZ. Yeah, <laughs> what you should be typing in the Overwatch browser at any time and, and any time and place. Word tilt, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we will be seeing Emmy versus uh, Miko here in a few minutes. Honestly, it's going to be interesting because we've been seeing really good performances from both Emmy and Miko. So it could go, it could be anyone's game here. Miko, a really good diva. Emmy, a really good diva. So it'll be interesting to see which one is actually better. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be interesting. Is there any, um, you know, kind of, Interesting things that can happen in Diva 1v1. I mean, obviously, one could try to use boosters and then get booped off by the other. Uh, you could easily have a Diva keep missing her shots, and then Remex happen all over the place. You could have even... There's even the possibility uh, for a Diva mech kill. So, uh... Or, like, Dude, a Diva if, if one of them kill. manages to get a, a Remex kill, I will be impressed. To put the, the to say the least. Even if it's a remake kill on just the mech. Yeah, absolutely. It could be it could be pretty interesting here. So we'll have to see what the uh how everything is going to go when it comes to uh that sort of uh that sort of match as it looks like we are almost getting ready to start here. We are gonna be starting the death match on Oasis City Center. Okay, so this is gonna take a bit of time for them to actually get anywhere near each other because this is a control map meant for uh, six players. Um, so we'll just be sitting here as they slowly approach each other. <laughs> yep. We can talk about we can talk about like the sort of dynamic that both are going. Talk through. about their Emmy has a Vancouver Titan skin. Miko has the Cruiser skin. Uh, Me Miko is my gold? heart. Did uh did Emmy have? Okay, Emmy does have gold guns. I'm not hallucinating. Yeah, we will. Yeah, be I, yeah they, they better both have golden guns if they're gonna be one v one each other. Yeah, of course they do have golden guns. Uh, so Miko is gonna obviously be taking high ground control over Emmy, and they're just gonna be waiting to try and figure out where each one of them are and try to you know hunt them down. Miko does see Emmy. I don't think Emmy sees them. Now they see each other. Yeah, now it's time for battle life. Yeah, I'm just gonna be spinning around here on the centerpiece. Uh, Miko going a bit lower than Emmy right now, but it's staying pretty even, honestly. Uh, using the environment to their advantage, trying to, uh, you know, swoop down. Miko is gonna be first out of mech, see if Miko can de-mech Emmy, but it looks like Emmy will be finishing up that kill rather cleanly. Uh, Emmy did go very, very low in that mech, though. Yeah, absolutely, Emmy did go really low, but Miko unable to finish the kill. Now we'll have to see if Miko will be able to bring it back here, or if Emmy is... Pretty much gonna be on smooth sailing to go to match point. I mean that one looked that one looked really really close here. So I imagine we'll see uh, at least one go to Miko here. Yeah, it doesn't look like Emmy's using a lot of his boosters compared to Miko. Miko seems to be using them on cooldown. Emmy has just been waiting on it, not using them as frantic. Maybe he just wants to take a nice little stroll before he gets to the point. Regardless, the two divas have met. They know where each other are. The battle commences. <laughs> Yep, both using those DMs, trying to capture as many bullets as they can. Miko's gonna be going a bit lower right now. Miko really needs to make a return in this fight, get those shots in onto Emmy. Miko gonna be getting DMX here, and we'll see. Uh, we see a lot of those shots get eaten by Emmy, and Miko's gonna be going down yet again. That one a bit less close than the first time around. Uh, so, still a chance to bring it back, though. 
Yeah, there definitely is a chance here for Miki to bring it back. We saw Warren take a point off of Hailchen after that last Ryan 1v1, so we'll see if Miko can take a point off of Emmy, or if Emmy will be claiming the first sweep in the uh, 1v1 duels that we've been having today. Yep, we see him slowly approaching the center here. We'll see where they end up meeting this time. Looks like Miko is getting set back up on center, knowing that fight went a little bit better. You know, on that first round, getting those first initial shots off onto Emmy, not really uh, able to hit any of them. There's some lane in the DM. And they're going to be shooting back at each other. Miko going lower once again. Uh, Miko's going to be getting DMAC first, and I think there's a very low chance for Miko to come back from that one. Emmy just seems to be getting better and better each round. Uh, but in, Miko's able to survive a bit longer than Baby Diva, but it is going to be going to Emmy there in that 1v1. Yep, Emmy wins the 1v1 over Miko. Now we know who the superior Diva is uh, in this matchup. Really good performance, I felt like, from both teams. But again, this is just for fun. A little way to cool off while the rest of the team just watches in amazement and cheers on their team. So, really good performance. And now it's really just up to our final map here on Hanamura. I mean, I don't know what the scores are in terms of the 1v1s, but I'm pretty sure that uh, there is a definitely a team. I'm pretty sure they were even in terms of the 1v1 totals because, you know, uh, there were two people on the same team for the first 1v1. But regardless, really good performances in terms of these 1v1s. Now comes the, reg now comes the regular boring old match. Yep. Uh, so, you know, I I'm not sure exactly how serious they are going to end up taking it. Um, but, you know, I imagine we're going to be seeing kind of the typical stuff um we kind of are been getting a sneak peek at just what they want to play what they like to play um and we'll, we'll see how well this ends up going uh what comps do you think we are going to see come out though i mean we've been seeing a lot of weird things throughout every sort of composition we might be seeing some random stuff they might not want to take this extremely seriously they might want to just go like all in let's just play whatever we want to so we'll see about that um there also might be running meta comps. We might be seeing Ryan Zario. We might be seeing Winston Zario. We might be seeing Winston Diva. We might be seeing stuff like that. I definitely uh, feel like we're going to be seeing uh, Diva come out on the side of um, see on, you, on, on the side of Smash. See, there's an error in what you said though. You said we might be seeing meta comps like Ryan Zaria. and I'm pretty sure that that's not meta. Shut right up. Shut up. <laughs> Just saying. Shut I'm pretty up. sure it's Winston Diva mostly. The scrims, the scrims say differently, my friend, okay? You, you play in minor scrims, buddy. I don't care. Minor scrims this don't is mean anything. All -stars. I mean, this is minor all stars, but it's not meta. I mean, people definitely could be running it and finding success in minor all stars, so. Yes, but that doesn't make it meta. Yeah, it's not, not how that works. Rainbow's just trying to make me feel bad. He's already made me feel bad when you took my play-by-play -play spot for this. Wait, it, I had signed up for it before you. That's how this works. I couldn't see the sign-up thing. Yeah, I you could, it though. Available. That's on you, buddy. Anyway, yeah. we're going to be getting into this that, here. Yep, we are going to be seeing Muddy Snaps sub out here for War and Peace coming back in. So, obviously, they're going to be running the traditional tank line over on the sharpest tools. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what we see here coming from both teams. Yep, it looks like we're about to get to the ready's. And uh, we have one from the Smash Mouth. Still looking for that R from the Sharpest Tools. We actually have two from the Smash Mouth, so they're double ready. Yes, uh, very so ready. They're very ready. They're so ready that they're ready some more. Yeah, we're just waiting on the sharpest tools to confirm yeah. they are ready. Thank yeah, you. I imagine we're, we're going to be ready. seeing some Far Mercy come out from Smash Mouth. I mean, you have double Far Mercy on the team. You better see one. Yeah, um, most, like, most likely they'll be yeah. running like one Far Mercy on one point and then run the other Far Mercy on the other one. So we'll have to see what the plan is here from Smash Mouth. Could that Far strategy pay off in the last minute or will it be the absolute death of them? Yep, and we are going to be seeing exactly what they pull out here. Um, I know Deja is a bit uh, more flexibility because we mainly see King on Far and Junkrat, so we might be seeing more coming out from Deja. Uh, I know she yeah. occasionally pulls out that Tracer to stall points sometimes, so yeah, uh, we I might believe be seeing that she... come out from her. Doesn't she also pull out a McCree, or am I thinking of someone else on her team? Uh, I don't think so. I think Offensive is the main one who plays Kree on uh, Vote Meme today. Okay. Uh, we're gonna oh, be seeing we're that. gonna be seeing uh, neither of them on far though. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a somber reaper going with that meta DPS. 
Um, along with the, uh, it's basically meta minus the Reinhardt. Um, Hailstrom, just a bit more comfortable on the Rhine, I'm guessing. And over on the other side, we have that double sniper comp. Well, I mean, Hailstrom also plays at like, uh, also plays on a potato, so it makes sense that he would like the Reinhardt more. So we are going to be seeing also on the side of, um, also on the side of, what is it? Sharpest tools, we're gonna be seeing the Ryan Diva. Uh, the only differences I see mainly are in the DPS. Oakley's on the Ash, Black Guy's on the Widow. This is what you technically expect because, you know, both of them are hit scan mains. On the other side, you have two projectile players. So we'll see what the engage uh, tactics are here for uh, uh, Smash Down. Yep, uh, we do see things kicking off here. Shots being lobbed back and forth. We do see that fire strike going through. We seem to get decent amount of damage, but Black Guy's gonna gain that first kill onto Aqua. And that's going to be putting the push kind of to an end. They no longer really have that uh, speed to help them push through. Hailstone also going to be going down. He got cut off wind to that side room there. So they're going to be continuing to hold. Yeah, it does look like uh, the King and Deja are trying to sneak around. Deja was found out, but uh, King has not. And King has actually made it all the way up to Glide Guy's position. And now he's trying to gun down Glide Guy. And unfortunately, he knows he's so. But King is probably just going to be jumping off the map here, or he's actually going to be stalling Slam for a bit. Then maybe jumping off the map, but we'll have to see. Yeah, we did see Emmy oh, kind of going to the high ground. Warren's going to be going down to Hillstrom there. Hillstrom swinging through with the nano. Does get an anti thrown on by Plasma. Uh, uh, Oakley going to be getting a nice 2k there with the Bob and the Dynamite. Uh, using, you know, abilities to fullest power there. And then also hitting a headshot on Terra. Just really kind of getting the, the, the full, you know, three different, the, the full variety there. Uh, and Absolutely. so we will be seeing the them continue to hold. There. Yeah, the full package coming out there from Oakley on that Ash, but you will be having some ults come out here for the side of Smash Mouth. So it's not all dead in the water yet. King trying, of course, to still try and get to that back line, trying to contest Glide Guide on that Widowmaker. He's been found out every time. His, he gets dynamited and Glide Guide. Ooh. Yeah, it's yeah, Glide, it's, it's Glide Guide's being an oppressive force here. It makes me makes me sad I didn't appreciate him sooner. You know, I, I started appreciating him in that game versus Odyssey. Uh, but, you know, he, he's making me realize that I should have had my eyes on him sooner. Yeah, Glide Guide obviously making sure that we know that he is really good at Widowmaker. We are going to be seeing this map now push in. The Shatter hits Aqua, and they're dead. Yep, yeah, both of the support's gone. Sharpest tools, really, they, you know, they, they were like, you know, okay, you guys may win on goats, but goats ain't meta anymore, and so we're still gonna, you know, kick your butt here on regular uh, Overwatch. And we are gonna be seeing Oakley also get that late kill on the Deja Vu. We actually do see swaps coming out on the side of Smash Mouth. King is on the Widow, Deja Vu is on the Ash. That's Ooh. a bomb coming in from on high, and Oakley Yeah, catch killed. Oakley. That was, that was threaded right through that top window there. It's kind of fun to do a placement you love to see, but Aqua is going to be going down to Warren, and Emmy gets slept as well. Warren getting another kill on the Hellshin. So they're still looking very strong here on Sharpest Tools. Glyguide was very, very low there for a second, though. Yeah, Glyguide, and uh, Glyguide actually looks to be having a little bit of competition here with the King. And King looks like he's actually doing pretty well on this Widowmaker, which... I didn't think I would be saying until today, but obviously he, he proved me wrong. Emmy is actually waiting for uh, waiting for the far, for the Widow Mercy, and King gets to kill into Oakley. But we'll see if this is the opportunity for Smash Mouth to push in. Yeah, they use the Sim to teleport over to point and get the Shatter on. That's some great strategy. Love to see it. King is going to be getting killed into Oakley as well there, and yeah, it looks like this work in Smash Mouth is going to be breaking through and finally capturing the point with 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, gonna be able to move on to point B there, but uh, I love you normally see uh, the sim start out uh, When you on for the first push you tend to not see it switch after and I think there's a really clever move to catch them off guard Yeah, that's a very clever move there from deja vu to being able to switch that uh, Symmetra so late into the game uh, You will have glide guide switch off of the Widowmaker onto a Torbjorn uh, Obviously, he's had enough of King full uh, uh, enough of King uh, Whatever you want to call it all this nonsense <laughs> And obviously, I believe King and Glide Guy, usually these are the heroes that they play, except they're playing in the opposite order. So, uh, very interesting stuff here for both sides. Yeah, we are going to be seeing them push up through that high ground coming over from the side since they have that sim. Uh, but, you know, Sharp sure, sure holding the traditional high ground, but King gets that pick on to Oakley, which is going to help open things up. Although, Erish is able to get the res off. 
And we do see Oakley getting the dynamite kill onto Deja, but Emmy is able to take out Glide Guy. Thing is now moving over to the point where he did have that anti onto Hilshin and the Shatterlands as well. So it's looking very good, and Aqua lost the beat there. So that was very unfortunate there for Smash Mouth. Yeah, the beat was cancelled there by Warren Shatter. Very unfortunate there for Aqua King. Just barely running away until Oakley gets the headshot on him. Very unfortunate. Dying so late into that fight. So, really, it's looking up and down here, but it looks like that uh, Sharpest Tool does have a little bit of an advantage in the long run. We'll have to see. Maybe King will be able to pop off more in this Widowmaker. I haven't been too impressed by it, but he's been doing better than I thought. You know, he's been getting those headshot kills more often than I thought he would, uh, despite staying in the line of sight of the turret. So, uh, we're going to ignore that, King. But yeah, so they're looking for the next push in, but with Aqua down, they kind of just have to wait out, stall it out, and hope that uh, no one else on their team gets picked while they're waiting for Aqua. King and King. as I say that, Arish on the Mercy gets the kill on the King. Love to see, you know, Mercy whip out their pistols there. Yeah, King was in the back line. <laughs> um, what else do I have to say? King was in their back line. So, uh, very unfortunate. We are still going to be seeing them push Ooh. in here, so... Yeah, that's bomb's gonna, gonna go an through. Bomb. Yep, an yep. ineffective bomb. So. It, it did. It did force them to back up a little bit, give a bit of space, and take out the shield. So they do have to stall it out and wait for that to come back. But King gets the kill into Oakley there, which is gonna help them push in without the dynamite pressure. Let's we'll see how that goes. We do have the Molten Core getting thrown down, but so does the uh, giant shield wall. Uh, Glide Guy and Warren getting those kills there, and so still looking pretty good for Sharpest Tools, and uh, they should be able to keep this. Yeah, but on the side of um, of uh, Smash Mouth, you will have Shatter and Bomb. Those can definitely be two impact balls. King as... Or no, that's not King. Deja Vu has switched over to the Junkrat off of the Symmetra, so we'll have to see if this does anything. Miko obviously going for a uh, reset here for a mech. So we'll have to see. We do see Hilton automatically going straight for the point. So. And that is going to be the Bob getting thrown down to pressure him back, which uh, does work. Yeah, He's now I mean, way back in that corridor. Yeah, but you also just lost your Bob, so maybe that was a good I, uh, good tactical move there from the team. We have a boost deal on the field, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, a boost deal on the field. Yeah, Warren gets that nice shatter off, though, along with the anti going through. Aqua doesn't become the plasma, though, and we see the bomb getting coming out here from Emmy. Able to take out Glide Guide. Erish was able to res back up plasma, and Oakley able to take out Aqua, but Deja also getting killed into Erish uh, after that res. Miku getting the hell into Hellish, and it's going back and forth, back and forth right now. Uh, no, they haven't quite gotten that one tick here on the point, although it is very, very close. If, if Sharpest thing steps off for even a second, the they point. could get it, but, uh, yeah, Warren just oh. kind of holding out, but they were, so they were able to get that tick when Warren went down. Erish went in for the res, but had to fight off Emmy first. And we are, do still see Aqua trying to fight now, but it's going to be going down, so they just got that one tick and there, uh, 37, uh, overall to be exact. Uh, we'll see if Sharpstein is able to match that on their attack. Yeah, very interesting there from, uh, what was it? Very interesting there from Sharpest Tools being able to let them have that tick. Emmy was the only one on point. It was pretty much a 1v4 situation. Warren was, sadly, the only other one on point. Warren dies, Emmy gets that last tick, Emmy gets that first tick, and then pretty much you, that's pretty much like a win condition down. Now, if you are a uh, Smash Mouth, you're in a very good position. You are either in a win or loss situation. It was either a draw or loss situation. So we'll have to see if they're going to be able to hold them off. And that's a Bastion. That's an Attack Bastion and a Symmetra. <laughs> oh, God. Symmetra Help Attack me. Bastion. This is what chat wants. Get those interesting strats coming through. I'm excited for yeah. this. But I mean, speaking of interesting strats, look on the side of um, Smash Mouth. King's on his signature far, and Deja Vu is on the Junkrat. They are prepared for this. They are ready to tear apart this Bastion to make sure that he wishes he was never started up on Windows 95 hardware. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it all depends on how much surprise they can get with the Bastion strat, because uh, if they're not able to get that, then yeah, like you said, they will get shredded by those DPS. Uh, yeah, we do so need a pause coming through here. Yep, it looks like there is a pause. It looks like there is a problem with someone with Warren. He looks like he has a little bit of ping issues. Uh, that hopefully should get sorted out here uh, in a second. Yeah, so while we have a quick pause, uh, I do need to run real quick. So if you could just talk over this break for a second. All right. I will definitely talk about some stuff with the chat. 
Hi, chat. I know I can't see you right now because I don't have the Twitch chat open, but um, let it be known that Rainbow stole my casting spot for this. I was originally going to do play-by-play, -play, and I said I would do play-by-play, -play, but Rainbow decided to do it before I could even sign up. So, uh, yeah, blame Rainbow for the fact that I'm not play-by-play -play right now. Hashtag blame Rainbow in the chat. Smile. Thanks. Cancel Rainbow. <laughs> See, Fortal agrees with me. I'm right. I'm right in this situation. You know I am. Uh, nothing but love for Rainbow. Yeah, Rainbow's an, Rainbow actually is an awesome producer. Uh, he does have, like, way more casts than I ever should. He's running this entire thing. He's pretty much like the ringmaster, although he isn't even a commissioner. So really, give, give all the love to Rainbow in the chat. He is an amazing person, and we, get, we wish him so much love for everything that he's done here for the Alec community. I know he's not here to hear that, okay. but... Okay, he's here. Hi, Rainbow. I, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I just got a, a quick phone call that happened to coincide with the break. Uh, so I uh, need to answer that real quick. Yeah, good timing, you know? It's always good. Yeah, we are still waiting here on uh, War and Peace, and uh, War and Peace is paying. Hopefully it will be uh, hopefully it will be doing better. Money Snaps is requesting me to put in, but I don't know if he will be, because War and Peace is paying, obviously. Can't go down. Uh, and if money snaps is put in, then they have 2.2 seconds to figure out everything. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, you just gotta, just gotta grab the hero real quick. You know, they are in attack, so it's, it's much better than, uh, if they were on defense. Yep. It does look like they will be getting muddy in here due to Warren's ping. Very unfortunate, but, you know, computer problems, you cannot solve them unless you, uh, take a hammer and decide to just bang that old computer. You know, I have, I have a strange engine. feeling that's not going to make your computer work better. I mean, if it works for the engineer, then it will work for that. So, yeah. You know, if it works for Torbjorn, if he's able to hit a hammer on a turret and be able to make it build instead of break, then you're perfectly fine. We will yeah, be getting yeah. started back up here. Yeah, oh, Overwatch is, is known for its realism, so I'm sure that would work uh, completely accurately in real life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we will be seeing... Now, we will be seeing uh, Sharpest Tools come out with this weird Sim Bastion strat. Uh, Deja Vu is ready for them, though. He, uh, she is ready to flank them with the chunk rat. Yeah, they are, the they are hiding in the you know, little kitchen room right there. You're gonna use that TP to go to the high ground uh, stoop right there. Interesting strategy. And Glide oh, God is kind of left alone and is taken out by King and uh, Emmy. Let's get Rez back up, though, to uh, join his team. Steve is able to work a little bit better, kind of taking a, a weird angle where you can't really see anyone. Yeah. Black guys, I mean, doesn't it doesn't seem is, like the top bash. <laughs> it is a big res, but also Oakley ended up falling, so now they don't have a Symmetra to teleport them everywhere. Oakley switched over to the Ash instead of staying on the Symmetra, so now this is where it gets interesting here for Sharpest Tools. Will they be able to keep this Bastion comp working, or is this pretty much the end of their push altogether? Considering Black guys still pushing and staying alive, oh, it's still it. I really get yep, found today. Just gonna open this up. Glide is sleeping right now, um, so they do need to fend off this tank line. But with that uh, extra DPS coming out from Glide, it might help them out. Uh, we did see they should get res, but they continue to get kills. Glide had getting two uh, in the farm versus Parado also going to be going down. Glide taking out Deja as well. Uh, this Bastion Strat, although you know it, it kind of took some time to get fully set up properly, uh, they were able to uh, push through and cap the point. So I really can't fault them for it. Aqua types in chat, Glide Bash, and what the, I cannot say that on stream, so. <laughs> there, obviously they weren't expecting that, but now, Sharpest Tools have 37.5% to cap on point B, and this is their map, and we have a 2-2 tie here in the All-Star game, which again, doesn't mean much, but still, it's good to know that it, everything's in equal terms. Everything's yeah. perfect, ba perfectly balanced as it should be. Yes, as all things should be. Oh, yes. King's looking for King. King and Aqua are looking for a flank barrage. Glide guy. Yeah, down. it's in a very small room, but they got Glide guy and they got Muddy. So you know, it was weird, but it worked. And, yeah. And, you, know, you know, you know, the, the pure it's skill only... of King to not be able to not uh, kill himself in that small room with all those explosions going around. You know, good job. Honestly, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, Finish also getting a lot of those follow-up kills. <laughs> Yep, and Glide Guide is obviously mad because uh, he has switched off to the Hanzo. King has switched over to the Torbjorn. So obviously King now playing his signature Torbjorn okay. instead of, you know, the other way around. So this is going to be interesting now to see how Sharpest Tools will be pushing in. They do have some ults on the field, but also on the side of Smash Mouth you have some ults. So we'll see uh, how this goes here for the push. They seem to be a little staggered though, so we'll have to see how the push initiates. 
Yeah, uh, and they are kind of pushing it over to that high ground. See what they're going to be able to do. And we see the bomb is going to be coming out here Fall from Emmy and the tire from Deja. Uh, looks like neither really. Oh no, sorry, the tire was still out and it gets two. So scratch that. Neither of them getting anything. Uh, I, I mean, did not realize the tire lasts so long. Usually it goes off earlier. Yeah, to be fair, I I'm pretty sure that was a team effort there. Emmy's bomb ended up baiting out Plasma's immortality field, and from there, Deja had a free tire. Uh, so, uh, really good coordination there from uh, Smash Mouth. You wouldn't expect that level of coordination right now, but you know what? Who cares? You're on it. You're in it to win it right now if you're Smash Mouth. So we'll see if their efforts will be uh, able to work here. But on the side of um, on Sharpest Tools, you do have all the ults that you had last fight and some more. So we'll see if it's going to be able to uh, help them in this push here. Bob comes out early, going to point. Yep, you're trying to prevent anyone else from uh, coming to contest. Up, we do see the uh, sleep coming down. It was the turret that woke up Bob. That's the issue with running Torb and uh, Ana sometimes. Blind guy, guy Nosley really just popping off getting those kills. Uh, we did see a nice shatter coming out from Hailshin, but they weren't really able to follow up on it. Uh, there's enough still up on Sharpest things to take out Hailshin, so they are going to be capping that. We are going to be seeing go to Sharpest tools, and that's going to keep things nice and 2, nice and, uh, two to 2. Perfectly balanced at all things, certainly. Also, don't you mean the sharpest two wools? No, I don't. Yeah, yes, he does. Don't worry about it, he does. Obviously, some huge Bob plays here from Oakley's Bob being able to craft the player of the play of the match. So really good uh, work there from both teams. Obviously, a lot of fun had, some things not expected, some things were expected, but really, it was all for fun and games. Really, just a fun tournament here. You're meant to have fun, so... Just getting started. You know, it's good to have fun. Yeah, we are going to go to a short break, and then um, I think I'm, we're going to try to get an interview with uh, both teams here, uh, just because, you know, it, it was 2-2. Everyone's here for fun anyway, so... Uh, yeah. We're just going to come with a quick chat. So we'll be gone for a little bit, but we'll be right back.
And welcome back. We are here with an interview with uh, Sharpest Tools first. Uh, it was a 2-2 match, so th this team got two maps, the other team got two maps, keeping pretty even here. Um, yeah, so we're here to talk to them uh, about how they did. And congratulations on those two maps you guys did win. Uh, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. That was awesome, yeah. A lot of fun. Yeah, we did. You're saying you didn't have any fun on <laughs> <No>. All Stars? <laughs> No, no, I, I, I was a woman. Was so <laughs> like, it was it's genuinely like, a lot of fun. Wait, which two did we win? I lost track. <laughs> you won the uh, you, you <laughs> won uh, Mystery <laughs> Heroes and the, the serious last map on Hanukkah. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, won, you won based off luck and you won based off skill. So, <laughs> yeah. even now, you know? We're polar we don't need else. We just yeah. have luck and skill. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy. So obviously, we saw a lot of weird things coming from you. The Mystery Heroes match obviously had a lot of Weird stuff as well. You guys mostly had the two, two, two compositions. How much coding did you have to rig in order to get those uh, compositions up? Well, anyone? Well, we I don't know. Had, I got, got body snaps and his and his, and his uh, and his pack of Bulgarian hackers. So uh, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, qu clearly, uh, wait, were they Bulgarian, Hungarian? Bulgarian, Bulgarian, you know, Hung Bulgarian. Bulgarian. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we had we had Bulgarian hackers on our side, so yeah, yeah. Most of yeah. their job was really to counter the hackers that um, <laughs> that Smash Mouth put out there. You know, we had to do some counter hacking. Yeah, so they didn't, you know, yeah. get an and upper I'm, hand in this matchup. But yeah, absolutely. And I'm, we didn't. Or I was just saying, uh, a lot of Mister here is also flexibility. Um, so you, do you guys consider yourselves flexible players uh, since you guys were able to win that mystery here? Or was it or was it really just pure RNG? You guys got good comps. We just had practice a ton of comps beforehand. You know, <laughs> yeah. Years. We had a lot set comps we were prepared for. We had, we were practicing like the Tor, Bastion, May, Mercy, Arisa stuff, you know. <laughs> we had it all in the back of our heads while we were playing the mystery heroes. That's how we came out on top, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thinking about the, the you know, preparation that really helps. Scrims. Yeah. Think, yeah. We yeah. got real lucky because I got those, Ash. All those All-Star scrims can be very helpful, you know, trying to synergize together, get everything working. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, definitely that could be helpful. Yeah, all um, of the scrims we had, yep. Yeah. <laughs> moving, on, moving on to Gibraltar, we saw a lot of very interesting comps. We saw you running double hit scan. We also saw you running something that we did not expect. Double Farah, considering both of your DPS are hit scan players. Who me... thought was that to be able to bring on the double Farah? Let me clear up the hit scan thing. I am not a hitscan player. I am a really? Doom Hanzo 2 trick, and they stuck me on hitscan in MSBY. We saw yeah, you, I mean, you did well. well so. I don't know how to play the hero, but I saw that you guys weren't looking at me, even though I got like 14 headshots. It's okay. Bro, I won't you hold against dominated you. <laughs> Widow. I refuse to believe that you are not a hitscan specialist. You can look. You can look at the profile. I don't play them. Size this Glad season. It. Glad your hero pool sucks. Sucks to suck. I don't know. You, you, you may hero... not like it, but uh, I'm afraid you, you are an amazing Widow player. So. Doomfist well, is a hitscan player. Oh, um, <laughs> I, I also... <laughs> Um, I we're, just, we're Glide is an interesting person. I I would like to ask more in a question though. Uh -huh. um, you you had to go up against double Reinhardt. What was that experience like, and uh, how much did you cry? I was uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called main tank aim, which everyone's familiar with, but no one is familiar with the with the sentiment of main tank pain. That was the <laughs> of main tank pain because holy moly, that was like I, I, trying to keep track of two different Ryan's abilities is. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay, that right has shot. That right has probably a shatter. No, wait, they both have shatter. Okay, one's charging me. Crap, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't counter both charges. I can't counter both. I can't counter both of them. I can only count it one at a time. I'm not that good at. <laughs> <laughs> only yeah. so much you can do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So definitely, that can be very painful. Trust me. I know what main tank pain is like. I had to go through the main tank life back on another team. I don't want to remember it, but yeah, <laughs> it definitely can be painful. Um, moving on to the goats map. Obviously, Warren had to deal with another fire in his house, so we had to bring in Money Snap. <laughs> you were able to really synergize around Money Snaps really closely. Was that just because you had a lot more practice with him over over Warren, or was that just like on the fly? Let's get everything going now, now, now. Clearly, it was practiced. I think Warren's PC was on fire, right? So, like, yeah, we were just kind of gimped, anyways. Kind of, yeah, at least yeah. it wasn't quite on fire. We just had the burning smell going and had the to. Fact, I mean, isn't the burning smell already everywhere? You are yeah, in Oregon. It was, more, it, was closer <laughs> yeah. than that. it was closer than it has been in the past. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't directly in front of me. And there was we practiced with every single player that uh, got yeah. an All Stars nomination. 
So we were able to, you know, swap in and out when it was necessary. I honestly think we had more scrim time with Muddy in though than Warren. I think that's how it kind of came together. I, I'm not. Th- I think it's, it's pretty equal. Possible. If I'm remembering, it was pretty yeah. equal. It was pretty yeah. equal. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. And also, like, I just want to know, like, hands up for the comms. When it came to the your cap in King's Row, you did it with one second in the clock. How much screaming was there in the chat? On a scale of one to ten. Ten. Eleven. Well, okay. <laughs> Eleven. Negative <laughs> five. Really, we, five. We thought, we thought we might have seen nine, honestly, but then it's yeah, you. <laughs> I, I, you. You, you should have heard the stream. I I may or may not have screamed one second when you guys capped it, because I knew it was one second left on the clock. So great job from there. And now heading into the final map of all of them, Hanamura. You guys obviously had to run the more balanced composition. You had Warren in for the first half, then his router decided to go on fire, because obviously this is how Warren's life is supposed to be. Everything burns in front of him. He's literally the dog in the This Is Fine meme. <laughs> And you Again. also you also seem to run that Sim Bastion strat, which seemed pretty interesting. Did you really think you were able to like push out through that Sim Bastion strat all the way, or did you really feel like it was just a one point and get off thing? So me and King, we often play together, and uh, we both hate that strat. So we played <laughs> we played really hard to counter it, and I know this. So, but I heard them in my mind saying that Glide is a bad Bastion, so I had to slap them all the way through it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it didn't start out great, but, you know, I you definitely cleaned up towards the end of that comp, so, uh, you know, you, you clearly proved them wrong towards the end. Well, yeah. we actually intentionally left um, left Oakley to die on the Symmetra so that he could come back on the Ash, and I it see. sort of worked really? to, Big the, uh, to the Widowmaker uh, Gladiator's um, Bamboozle strat. Of okay, the, that's, the yeah, that's... Playoff. That is um, really interesting. I thought Oakley died, and you were supposed to be using that <laughs> MTP to to use mobility, but no, that's actually a really smart strat. Let me take some. Let me take some yeah. notes here. Yeah, the, my, the uh, very on purpose strat. Let me, yeah. let me hold on. Let me just uh, let me just take some notes here so I can remember that for my uh, for my next comp game. Uh, it's clearly yeah. an intimidation TP. How is it? Velocity force. You guys are so dead. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, Warren. Can I come clean with you? Yeah. The fires have not been the one messing up with your internet. It has oh, been no. I. I have been DDoSing you this entire time. Oh, been no! paid off oh, by the God! enemy team. I am oh! sorry. I have to apologize. Oh, no. Did oh, Viper buy you out? Yeah, I was paid out. Oh, uh, uh, I see. Uh, I think I can, I think I can forget. I can find it in my heart to forgive you. Can, can, I'll split the money with you. Is that all right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. It'll help pay for your PC oh. cards. Yeah, help me. <laughs> yeah, pay for, pay for the graphics card. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, overall, you guys had a really strong performance. Uh, while some parts were really silly and some parts were explosive in either the right or wrong ways, you guys did really good today. Great job today getting those two map wins. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, casting us. Yeah, no problem. You know, I was really, I wanted to be the play by play, but Rainbow decided to steal that role from me. So it's I was glad I was able to. It's already mine. Shut up. <laughs> uh, um, I was glad to be able to get a color cast in for this because it was really fun watching y'all. Yeah, uh, I do just want to see if there's anything else you guys have to say before we head over to the other team. Uh, so is there any closing thoughts from any of you? I'm not a hit scan player. Okay. I, 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 more, hashtag I don't get believe off you, but okay. Glide's nuts. Get off my side. <laughs> Glide yes. sack. I had more limbs on mercy than death. These, these were the best maps I played all tournament. This was definitely. <laughs> you know, so for some reason, and, I trust uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind I of. Feel, a, it's, I do feel like that. It's a massive honor to have been picked as an all star. I, I mean, you're, you're yeah, one of the best players in It's an honor so. having you on this show, uh, sir. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it, it was lovely getting to see you guys play. Uh, we are going to head over to Smash Math now, but I hope you guys have a uh, great rest of the day. And for those of you in playoffs, uh, you know, good luck in them. Uh, this is really, really just MSBY. Yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm going to do uh, a well, great job in playoffs. We have, we have two Hyperion well. members here. Oh, yeah, we do have two Hyperion. They weren't talking, so I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Hyperion as well. Uh, but yeah, so let us head over to Smash Math now. Okay, so hello over here on Smash Map. Uh, congratulations on your two map wins. Uh, it did go even, so neither team winning. So uh, congratulations on this. And I hope you guys uh, were having some fun there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Very much. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah, so we'll kind of just kind of go through some of the maps here. Start out on uh, Mystery Heroes, where you guys were only really able to take uh, a one point there. So, do you, do you blame RNG? 
it, it was RNG. It, it, it was RNG. RNG. <laughs> yeah. They you had know, double Genji. Moira and double ball. How were you <laughs> supposed to beat that? <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly, uh, I think that's I where the a... skill comes in. But yeah, yeah, no, it, it was definitely RNG, especially for some some of those fights where it's Rainbow. like you just don't have a tank. So how are you gonna push in? Yeah, I'm pretty and sure I we mean, had like as... a Lucio as our only support at one point on the last map. Yeah, I do. Feel I like think that, that was also... multiple points, really. Yeah. Probably. And also, as, as I did appreciate who... the uh, double poop that came out from Emmy and uh, Aqua there on. Uh, Lijang. Oh, yeah. Lijang Night Market, sorry. And, that was uh, beautiful to watch. Yeah, I mean, Aqua both uh, doing those uh, double boosts. Do you have battle. any other questions about uh, our, our control map there? I've been talking a lot, but, like, all right. I don't know if you can Is Bowsy alive? I am alive. Okay. I don't know if you can uh, I'll continue to do the interview myself, then, as Bowsy is apparently disconnected. Uh, um, we can all hear Bowsy. Okay, I can hear yeah, Bowsy. Yeah, we can hear him. Hold on. Excuse me. Oh, that was rude. Anywho. Uh, can Hi. you hear me? Uh, I, yes, I, I can hear him. So I that's weird. My microphone is glitching. I'll out. just I, let him Rainbow, finish off the interview since we, I can hear Rainbow. every single one of you. Uh, that's uh, weird. I'll, I'll just why let you Bowsy finish off a load since uh, I can't really go back and forth. I can hear him. Bowsy. Jo Joey, give me a sign if you can hear me or not. Okay, good. So everyone can hear me except Rainbow. That's pretty right, good. So my, my perfect plan. Uh, no, has... it's fine. I'll just, ba Bowsy, you just finish it off. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously you had a lot of things going on there on uh, Hanamura. Obviously the double boobs between Emmy and uh, Aqua. And it also seemed like that you guys uh, had a lot going for you. You had very strong moments, very weak moments. So yeah, obviously really good on that Mystery Heroes map. Moving on to the next map, which was the uh, which was Watchpoint Gibraltar. You guys did start off on that double far strat. Um, and now we pretty much have concluded which one is the better far here. Uh, but I want your takes on it. Which far do you think did more work there on Gibraltar? Well, I never swapped, so <laughs> I swapped the Bastion because I did because I didn't right. die. Because right, we did we did have Deja switching over to that Bastion. So uh, yeah, obviously an interesting scenario there from uh, from your team composition. So really the good there. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. the double oh, mercy guys, pocket definitely was helpful as well. That could definitely help for your healing and damage output. So you guys did pretty good there. You unfortunately were unable to take the victory. Also, King, no, we, just, we won that. Yeah. 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 We won that. You did, oh, you yeah. did win that. Oh yeah, you yeah, did. They, win. they won the middle maps. <laughs> I'm very tired. Also, now we can confirm that Rainbow we are the delicious again. part of the sandwich of the yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. The middle I am... is where we shine. Just yeah. like the best part of the sandwich. We're yes, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Also, we saw a lot of King Reinhardt, and that concerns me in several uh, different ways. Yeah. Uh, hey, if it works, it works. Right. I mean, you're running double main myself. tank, and Warren said he's have to, he has to go through several therapy lessons. Now, so, uh, yeah, why? Why would you run double? Why, why would you run? I mean, uh, I mean, he, King told me that he can play Ryan, so I was like, yep, sure, go Ryan. <laughs> And go press W, like that's that's okay. it. Yeah, because I'm right. I'm the only one that presses W. Yep. Okay, that's fair. Um, as for um, as for uh, Emmy, I I hate to say this, but it seemed like you were still stuck in mystery heroes there, switching heroes yeah. every time you died. Um, was that just nah. like, was that just you wanting to switch heroes every time, or? You know, or I, you... I kind of just gave up and just like. <laughs> Glide focus on me instead of the entire team. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that that sounds right. That sounds right. You wanted to play Diva. Obviously, there was a lot of, bad. Obviously, there was a lot of switches going on with your hero comps. Moving on to King's Row, which was the GOATS map. Again, we did see King on the Reinhardt, and uh, Helton was playing the Brigitte. Was that just because Helton runs on too much of a potato that we that they didn't want his computer catching fire? Or is that just because you wanted to play a different Reinhardt strategy, depending on if you were on attack or defense? Because we know King, he was going aggressive like nuts. I ain't no Warren. My computer's not that bad. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, we just, me and King just wanted to swap it out. I wanted to go with some Brig, and uh, I'm better at defense. Uh, so he just went offense for Ryan. I went defense for Ryan, and we just yeah. swapped it out. It yeah, gave me absolutely. hard attacks. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's good to have that sort of like passive or aggressive style. Obviously, there are several teams that could switch in Ryan's to have more of aggressive style or a passive style. So it makes sense from that sort of standpoint. 
you guys obviously did really good on that. Uh, I did see a lot of good things. Um, what I do need to ask, though, is that um, Emmy, your eat on the grab, how loud were the comms when that happened? I don't know, I demacked immediately after that. Honestly, <laughs> I did not see uh, him eat the grass. I didn't even know she could. I saw it, I, I, was, I said it was huge, and then, oh, and then okay. there was surprise. <laughs> I mean, there was, it's, there was huge comms. It's, it's normal for me, because Emmy already does that in the normal match. match <laughs> see, I didn't even I'm, know she I'm crapped, I didn't even hear it. I'm just disappointed there weren't more eats. I mean, only yeah. one, and it's goats. It should be you know, eats every four right seconds. Two star I could have been in the thing is, I would have... The thing is, I would have eaten more, but like, <laughs> they kept like freaking. Oh my god! You you want you want to be nice to them? You're like, oh, no, DM's like, very had finicky. a good. Sorry, that's why none of the bar grabs got eaten. DM's very <laughs> finicky. I didn't but have yeah, a single grab finicky. of mine get eaten. Yeah. I yeah, can't. exactly. See, the only one came from Emmy, so. Yeah. None of my grabs were eaten because I didn't play Zarya, so. <laughs> Dude, I, I put the big brain over here. Aqua's like, yeah. don't don't play Zarya, can't get a grab eaten. Easy. Yo. Easy. I won the 1v1, that's all that matters. Yeah. Yo, yeah, where, where was where was me and Danger's 1v1? Like. Uh, yeah, so we met, so uh, Fordle messed up and he's in the voice chat right now, so you can yell at him. So. Fordle. Well, you, you guys didn't tell us it was broken until the end, so. Well, that's because uh, I thought it was a joke. Like, I thought we were moving. I thought, I, I thought you guys were the ones joking. You were like, I don't like this, so I'm going to just play Mercy. No, it actually hurt my eyes watching, watching okay. the bar play. Okay, you know what? After, 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 this, after well. this, we can do it right. For it, for right. hand over to me. We'll I mean, we're, we're already right here with you. We just have you guys live in comms, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, moving on to the final map, which was Hanamura. There obviously was a lot of weird stuff coming from there. We saw a glide guide on the Bastion. We ended up seeing King on the Faro with the Junkrat uh, from Deja Vu. Um, that barrage, honestly, who do you have to credit for keeping yourself alive in that small room with a barrage with so many explosions coming at every angle? You know, I used, I, I used all of my barrages to solo kill glide. That's all that matters. I know, but like you said. I mean, okay, that's fair. That is really Kate fair. allowed me to. Kate, Kate definitely like, uh, uh, kept me alive during that, but I didn't really care what I got past glide. I knew I killed glide. Out. So yeah, we don't. That's all that matters. Absolutely, and also we ended up seeing, uh, um, especially on, um, especially on the attack, or I believe it was attack, maybe you you were running Widowmaker, mm -hmm. and you were actually getting a lot of value. So my question is, are you going to be contesting Glide Guide for that Widowmaker starting spot? Dude, I'm working. No. <laughs> no. Otherwise, I would totally do that. So, so um, I I would, I, I I am working tomorrow, so I I unfortunately cannot make it. But I was actually really really looking forward to that. Yeah, Don't worry, I'll take a spot. I'll take a spot. Tonight. Like I was, I was, I, was, I, was I mean, we did see Aqua doing a really good job on that far in the far duel. So. <laughs> Oh god, no, have mercy on my eyes. <laughs> Dude, that yo, there's only one word that could describe what I saw. Pain. <laughs> I mean, I see that all the time, so don't worry about it. It was my just... Reses, though. I mean, some of that goats was pain for me, too. You guys... <laughs> you, I mean, you guys won, but it was it was still questionable. Yeah, so. you guys had a lot of questionable plays on the goats, so... Yeah, but overall, you guys did really good today. You guys had a really good time. I can tell you we're having a lot of fun. Just overall a great time. Great job today. I liked playing Tara. No one else liked when I played Tara. Oh my but gosh. I <laughs> Kate, Kate, me and you, we're working on your Tara. You know, it, it's the fun that counts, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it doesn't you know, matter the result. It doesn't I, matter the result. It doesn't matter if we have two, two, two to two and we don't have a fifth map. It matters that we just had fun, you know? I mean, it is perfectly balanced as all things should be. No, nah, no, nah, we're going to sell it right here. See, because me and Deja are 1v1. If Deja wins, um... All stars by Smash Mouth wins. If I win, oh. all stars by Smash Mouth wins. So all right. I, I see how it is. Yeah. Um. So it, it all comes down to this. All right. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Uh, Joey, are we uh, ready to go in? I just want to make sure you're all good. Okay. Cool. Let us get into this one v one. It is all set up. Wait. Are we casting Wait. calms? There's no way. I. I mean, just you know, you guys vibe. We'll vibe. This is oh, for we fun. Can pick this, this is. This oh is my, my God, time. We can this pick. Is... This is See, my time to you know, my time to take rain. I'm kind of in a love life patch, but I'm done now, so it's okay. <sighs> this is finally my time to They're take They're BMing me so hard. They just died. Okay, guys, yeah. we're gonna run goats. Cool, hey. gotcha. So we are gonna be having goats 1v1 with 2v2, so that's gonna be very interesting. 
coming out running here. Running a so. do with um. In before, a in ball, before, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball, a ball. <laughs> We're playing double no, we are going to be, be seeing Ninja and King Dilly. on the far here as we start here on Castillo for the true far 1v1 that we happened to miss earlier. So we'll uh, you you are you throwing, so you pronounce the L's in Castillo. You said Castillo. Oh, oh I, I I mean, you killed on the Aqua, so Don't that's obviously a big start Aqua here for, uh, for Deja and Peridot. King now has to do two kills by himself. It's I possible, it. but very hard. I yeah, both Deja and Para yeah. did go did go to half, but we're able to, you know, no, heal I back up since King cannot hit another shot there. Yeah, King obviously having a little bit of trouble, but that doesn't mean it's the end here. Or King hits one shot on the Deja, misses a second, unfortunately. King falling very low here. I shouldn't be saying that, but it will be Deja Vu taking the first uh, round over the King. Very unfortunate, but it is still best of three, so hey, anything King. can happen. Hey, Yo, you, gotta, you just gotta press shift. That's all you gotta hey, do, Kate. Yeah, right. Can you kill them? Hey, Kate, I've been hitting shots. Oh, but you just have to shift. Shots. Shots. Yo, I love how they, <laughs> they can heal all of our comms and heal how we're actually going to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you know, now I, we will be coming in into round two. I don't think it's a true farmer suit uh, it, duo if they don't bully each other, so. Yeah. You know, I, that, that just means good synergy. Yeah, absolutely. It's good to have. Some <laughs> uh, we will be seeing King getting kill a little me, bit of damage here. Uh, you do hear them trying to call out their comms as we're playing. King <laughs> just get a shot off. Aqua is still trying to make sure that King stays alive. Only Deja has been getting the shots off so far, so it's looking kind of rough here for the King. King does get. Oh, I believe. Nope, not a shot. Yeah. Yep. Right now, both uh, are really all, all four of them are currently at full health because uh, they do need to hit that double direct or take out the Mercy. Yeah, absolutely, and you do see, uh, in terms of the ult percentage, Deja has been doing a little bit more damage onto the King oh, yeah, as compared to the other way around, so we'll see if the King is able to get at least these two kills. Aqua does take a little bit of damage there. As the Aqua dies to Deja Vu immediately, and I say that, now the King has to do once again a 2 a 1. It's possible, but very hard right now. It's taking already okay. one out. <laughs> Get over here! Get King over here! King very close as Deja Vu does get the kill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I, I I think, you know, I was expecting, I mean, to be, to be honest, that, you know, maybe King was going to be winning this one, but Deja's you know, really proven us, herself here. No, 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 King's just sandbagging. King's just sandbagging. In the sandbagging. new patch, but you know what? It's it's going to be, it's going to be reverse, uh, it's going to be a reverse speed. Okay. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. King, you know, King's I, I'm, I'm sitting yeah. here, I'm waiting to see it, dude. King, okay, wait, King wait, just wait, wait. This is where King pops off. This is where he wait, gets wait. those two kills and gets King, the King, Aqua, Aqua, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. We gotta have the Mercy 1v1 again. Oh, true. Oh, oh, oh I see. I see. I actually do just Aqua. I do just Aqua. If it goes to him, if it goes to Are we doing this? Wait, are we doing like a countdown? Yep, Mercy 1v1, ready? Are we doing a countdown or what? Three, two, one, go. And the Mercy 1v1 has begun between Paradone and Aqua. They are battling each other. Oh, so far, it's mostly up. misses, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, yeah. oh, uh, Paradox is taking more off, shots, off, but off. it's not really enough. You gotta hit those headshots. Yeah, uh, oh, Paradox oh, getting that kill. Paradox gets the kill. Oh, cut. That was that was cheap, Deja. It was cheap. <laughs> so, regardless, what up, regardless, Deja Vu and don't have one the faro one v one. Okay, so all oh, man. Miners, all star match is all star by Smash Mouth. So congratulations to All Star by Smash Mouth for winning the Miners All Stars game. Don't gloat about it on Twitter, on Discord, on wherever you feel wait, like it's necessary. Wait, 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 wait. Of all -Star what happened? <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like hmm. a U issue and not a B issue. So. A little sus, I think they're the imposter. <laughs> okay, yo, I yeah, thought we bad. Guys, I saw, anyway, guys, so... I saw them bent, I swear. Okay, also, see you guys. Wait, you guys got you. your 1v1. Thank you. Thank <laughs> yep, you there's too. your 1v1. We now know that Deja is the better Farah. Hey! Hey! Be That's not true. Okay, so wait, be King, did you lose? For a while. I lost. Okay, <laughs> okay, well, okay. Well, okay. okay. Yeah. I, I feel like that was about to have a bit of a conversation. No. So, like, yeah. I won by far. No, no, uh, I won Rainbow. I won by one. So, King, um, your DPS slot. <laughs> 
it's it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not a conversation. It's it's it more or, more or less just King getting sacrificed on the altar. I see. I see. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't actually play the game. It's like it, the gods. And, and plus, I hear Glide Guide's not a hit scan, so he can just take up the fire roll, right? Yeah. Yo, Alpha hit scan. I am not a hit scan player. He's exactly. not. Exactly. I, I feel like he's in, a bot. Me I, mean, he's not, I mean, Glide Guide's not saying that he can't play far. So, yeah, Glide, Glide uh, Chaser okay. versus Doomfist, real quick, with Glide. Uh, no, I think we are going to be closing it out here. Um, yeah. But so if you guys quiet down while I take this out. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in and enjoying All-Stars with us. Thank you to all the players who showed up as well and the coaches for putting those teams together. Uh, make sure to continue to tune in to All-Stars as we go throughout this weekend. We have uh, the Widow Tournament going to be getting started tomorrow along with the coaches game. We have the Caster Clash on Sunday, and Woo! the Majors game is going to be on Monday. And I believe the awards show is now uh, firmly scheduled for Wednesday. So to see who's actually going to be the grand MVP of both of the divisions, make sure to tune into that. It is going to be fun. And I'm really excited to see who's going to end up on top there. Uh, but yeah, so that is going to be it for us tonight. Uh, goodbye. And thank you for coming out. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.